currently 3-0, and if I'm not mistaken. While Cumberland University Rising hasn't had the best start to this season, they are a 1-2, I believe. So things haven't been looking great for them so far, but maybe this is the momentum swing they need to turn themselves around. Absolutely. Saints are the favorites, and they're going to look to show why that's the case here with a strong performance and look to take this match in two maps, but hopefully they don't overlook their opponents and uh, don't kind of just start uh, for funding it. Hopefully <laughs> they keep their foot on the gas pedal for the entire time and really show why they are one of the strongest team in collegiate. Exactly. You can never underestimate your opponents no matter how high you are currently flying. You always have to respect them. And, you know, especially with some possible shakeups in the Valorant scene, I mean, anything could happen because I believe about... A month ago now, uh, a new agent released Vice, so usually there's some sort of ban for either two weeks to a month, so maybe Vice is now a part of the, the toolkit they may be able to employ. Yeah, and the three maps we're going to have today is Icebox, Sunset, and I forgot the last one already. Oh, God, God. <laughs> I already forgot the last one, but we know <laughs> our first two, so uh, Sunset and Icebox. Is, uh, Sunset, a newer map, definitely uh, interesting map, mm -hmm. and want to see how our Saints decide to play uh, that one, and then you know, it's, it's it's good picks. Our Saints want to get us through as many maps as possible early in the season so they can practice on everything. So if we get oh. every time a new map uh, every week, I think it's, it's good for the Saints. Yeah, and on the enemy team, we're going to be playing against uh, a very familiar player if you've been watching these Saints streams for quite a while. It's going to be Giza on the enemy team going up against some of his old teammates. So it's great to see how this one will shake up. So they got some talent over there. They got some heavy yeah. hitters. So this isn't going to be as landslide of a win as some may expect i think we're in for some good matches yeah absolutely you know giza was here for a while and definitely knows our team well so there might be some secret strategies that maybe we had that uh, cumberland will see coming because of that so maybe it's gonna we're gonna have to expand our playbook and maybe play by uh, some different strategy just take the win home today yeah it should be a very very interesting match but let's get down to some predictions here theo what do you think is going to happen today how do you think this is going to swing out you know i've watched the saints play a couple of weeks in a row now i think they're looking very very strong so i'll go 2-0 uh, for the saints against cumberland today I think I'll agree with you there. You know, Saints just have that huge momentum going for them. They are three wins in. And Saints just play so well once they have that confidence swing in them. I don't know if anything can stop them right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They're looking uh, very, very good. Uh, still, pistol rounds are kind of eh, kind of iffy. But yeah. other than that, once they get a few weapons on their hands, they definitely become a very, very scary team to watch. Exactly, and I believe Icebox is one of our first starting maps, and that's not one we've seen in quite a while. I think that one came back yeah. into rotation relatively recently within the last few months. So I'm excited to see how the Saints adapt to the new changes. I know they added a window over near mid on the ramp, so there's a couple new angles to cover. Mid's less approachable now. I'm just excited to see how this one shakes up. Yeah, very, very interesting to see how the new changes on all the maps are going to be utilized by our Saints. And, you know, they've been uh, playing well to start off the season. And uh, we are going to be going into Icebox in uh, just a second. They're going to look to continue their winning ways today. And we can take a look at all of the players from both sides. Saints have Caillou, Fair, Smiley, Truth, and Tillo. And on the side of Cumberland, it's going to be Fazo, Sexy Giraffe, okay. Gerardo, another Sexy Giraffe, and a Jigsaw oh. 2. So we got two Giraffes here. We got 3 and 12. I'm <laughs> just going to stick to that, I think, so we don't mix them up, Giraffe. of course. We'll stick to 3 and 12. We got Fox. <laughs> Ow. Coach's name is also uh, one good-looking Giraffe. But uh, very similar picks on both sides. We're going to see the Killjoy... The Chamber, the Sova, the Reyna, and the Clove on the side of Cumberland University rising. And on the side of the Saints, we're seeing that typical Viper, Jed, KO, Killjoy, and Sova pick. I think that's a much more typical comp if you're going onto Icebox, because you love to have that wall on the Viper. But 
on the side of Cumberland. I'm excited to see how Clove ends up working out. I haven't had the opportunity to cast Any when Clove, yeah. Clove was in play. So this is going to be a first for me. Yeah, and I'm uh, inch surprised by the Reyna pickup for the side of Cumberland. Not really the duelist you will get to see too often at the highest level of play, but uh, the 12th Giraffe is going to have to have a great performance here on this arena to really put their impact on this game. Yeah, Re Reyna's really good for those solo plays. Very, uh, you know, a, a character you pick if you're in in solo queue. So I'm excited to see what plays can come out here on this Reyna. We're going to see them approach from above here. So our dart goes out and a trade comes back from three. And then Fair gets one right back. Yeah, it's going to be a one-for-one one to start off the round. Saints have not gotten too far up into the site yet, so Cumberland going to be there on the defense in a pretty good position. They're going to get an extra. Sheriff here and Jurado is going to find that pick on to Kayo. Now it's going to be a 4v3, Ooh. but Truth finds the trade with the Sheriff. Gets that shot, 3v3. Situation looks like Saints might want to pick up the spike and might even look to rotate out. Yeah, I think you're right on the money with that prediction right there. Tillo, though, hanging by, just trying to find any stragglers. We see Oz Fox holding this midpoint very carefully. He doesn't have a lot of range to use with this classic, oh, and yeah, you're not going to win that against the Sheriff Truth on point there. And now it looks like A-Side has been completely abandoned from the side of Cumberland, which gives the Saints a little... Uh, room for maneuvering here if they can get down and plant a spike 3v2 they will put themselves in a great position and it looks like they've finally taken control of the site shots are getting fired back though Whoa. truth third kill the round and it is just a oh, snowball on one hp, HP. <laughs> tillo finds the round ending kill and saints take the first round one to zero yeah beautiful starting round for the saints very uh very patient a lot of restraint shown there. They didn't overextend, but they got the trades, they got the picks when it mattered. And that's what you got to do to win these games, you know? They're definitely giving this team their due respect, especially on these pistol rounds, which the Saints historically have not been the best at. You can definitely tell a little bit of a different approach was taken there, and it paid dividends. Yeah, they found those kills, and then they played beautifully to get onto that A site with the man advantage. It was a pretty easy finish uh, to the round here and now timer is not ticking so i don't know if we're having a timeout or a dc but you can see the defensive players are uh, moving around getting ready to set up the defenses but the attackers have not left their spawn just yet i think we might be having a little bit of a tech pause currently just waiting to see what's happening here yeah it's gonna be a tech pause but Really good first round from the Saints. Cumberland still going to have a fighting chance going into this next one. As Saints are not investing in a full arsenal like you usually see. When you win that first pistol round, you're going to try and save up and build a really good economic lead first. Yeah, I mean, uh, Saints, they love getting those Vandals and Phantoms in hand. And uh, they don't want to buy those too quickly. Might look for some... Uh, cheaper weapons and just win the round next full buy go for the bonus and just try to economically smash your opponent so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what the Saints want to do here I'm excited to see it as well this is gonna be Gumberland's chance to really turn the tide though if they can manage to win this one out they'll be on even playing field with the Saints and they very well should be able to do something here if all these guns stay as they are but I have a feeling that might change as Smiley did buy a Spectre. And yeah, now we're seeing the Vandals come through. We're seeing the expenses not be spared anymore. On the other side of Cumberland, they're gonna have to just stick with these pistols. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a rough round for them to win here as Saints have invested quite a decent amount into the weaponry here, but you're gonna see a couple of players still gonna opt out of the pistols. So Saints are feeling very, very confident here with uh, the few weapons they have and are gonna rely on those couple of players to really find all the kills needed in the round so the other three can buy up a full buy next hey, round. Hey, timer's ticking now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we're about to get into the second round. Let's see if Saints can hold their lead. Looks like Truth isn't going to be picking up a stronger weapon though. Probably just gonna spend it all on the utility. There he is, Caster cursed it. <laughs> it's going to buy that Vandal. Tillo, get off to the Sheriff. Yeah, the round's going to start off. Gerardo's going to look for an early shot on the Sova, but won't be able to find it, and Smiley picks up 
Giraffe at 12 as there's just one member in here. Just see Miku finally finds the pickup there. Nice dash wow. up there by Fair. Now it's a 5v1. And this round's gonna be gone very, very quickly. Saints should get this plant down in the 5v1 scenario. Should be a more than certain round going over to the Saints. Yeah, the Saints have just completely dismantled any sort of defense from Cumberland. I mean, you can't really contest those guns, but it looks like three is going to try and do it. But no, it gets taken out by Truth. Flawless round from the Saints. And this is going to be a very strong lead for them. Yeah, they're going to be up two, and they will have all the weaponry they could ever uh, want because nobody died in the last round. So. It's going to be a great start to this map for the Saints, as you pointed out. And it just seems like Cumberland cannot uh, stop them from pushing into this A site. First round, they did a decent job of kind of withstanding the pressure, but that last round was just way too easy for the Saints. And I think the Saints are going to look to replicate the same type of gameplay. I think you're right here. The alt economy is just looking so good for the Saints as well. This Killjoy, just a few more points away from having that super strong ultimate only two rounds in. See Caillou push up through the middle, gets the kill, just moving on through like an absolute unit, getting two kills, three getting one, two off getting another, and Smiley taking out 12. It is a 3v2 situation. Things are looking expensive for the Saints. They need to take out a few more to try and secure the round, but no, it's gonna be three getting another pick. It's taken out by Caillou. Now it's a 1v1 situation with Fox taking out Caillou there. It's gonna be Smiley. Moving in on through, backing up, playing from behind. Fox moving in for the kill. He does not find it though, Smiley finds a beautiful flank. And that's a huge round for the Saints. They take the 3-0 lead, but more importantly, they beat Cumberland on the bonus round. And now it's gonna be a save for staff from Cumberland. You can see they have a player who can afford to buy a Phantom or a Vandal, but I don't think that's the best idea when the rest of your team can't afford anything. Uh, playing hero ball against the Saints is definitely not a strategy you want to rely on. So I think Saints should be able to take this next round with their LTVs as Cumberland can't really afford to buy the heavy machinery. And Tillo reads that economy like an economist. He bought that outlaw, which is just going to absolutely shred through them. They can't invest in those. Well, wow, it gets taken out, though, by number three over there. Getting that outlaw down and out. Holding this angle like a hawk, trying to get these snipes. Can't quite get it. Two kills Whoa. come through. Wow, three kills come through. It's an absolute bloodbath on this A site. Gerardo standing strong, making this a 1v2 for his team. The Saints just falling apart here. Coyote needs to find a pick and needs to find it quick. They have vision on him. This is not a good position to be in. They have the angle covered. Double peeks it. He has to win the 1v1 now. Somehow he gets out of there. Switches to the oh clash. What goodness. is he doing? What? Gets a 3k <laughs> in the clutch to win the round. I mean, I don't know how that one happened. I thought Caillou was dead for sure. Ran out of ammo. Still decided to take the challenge. But as we said, Cumberland didn't have the weaponry. They found four members, had the 2v1, but just they did not play it accordingly. And Saints kind of get away with one there. Not a round that should be close at all. But thankfully, they're able to afford another full buy. It's going to be an operator now coming out for that chamber. So the Saints have to be careful for that one. Yeah, to be fair, that was a very expensive round for the Saints. They invested a lot in there. Meanwhile, Cumberland didn't invest all too much. And they're able to full buy this round. It's going to be very scary, especially with Giraffe here. Giraffe 3 having this op threatening a long bear taking the high ground approach trying to find a sneaky angle but that clove smoke gonna stop him right in his tracks i think the saints are gonna eye a rotate yeah they have the viper wall up this entire time so and they can go for the rotate at any point in the round and looks like for the first time in this map they will be making their ways toward the b site tillo will scope out everything and there's a swing coming out from a giraffe three but truth does not see it coming it's taken down but this gives saints an opportunity to maybe push into the site and try and get this spike down you can see all the utility use the viper wall goes up the flash comes out the plants can be going down as well another flash comes out nice double swing there but they don't find any kills fair picks up one smiley throws down the nade has to be careful uh, fair does go down and down goes smiley saints get the spike down though 4v2 scenario in the post plant 
4v2 scenario. This is not looking good for the Saints, but they flip it on a dime, getting two kills in synchronicity. Now Tilla holding an amazing angle, but it's not going to be quick enough to take out Geo. Time is of the essence here. He finds one, disappears back into the smoke, has to lurk like a snake in this Viper pit. He cannot peek this corner. Now Geo going to fake the defuse, but wow, oh, catches him off clutch. guard. That's going to be Caillou with another 3k. Another big clutch for the Saints. Caillou in the 1v2 uses that Viper ultimate and just maneuvers his way around. That one, Cumberland just falling apart. That's a round they definitely should be taking home, especially after the first blood and everything that went right for them. If that's the rounds they're losing, this is going to be a very, very long series for them. I think it might be a short series for them if they keep playing like this. Yeah. Not in their favor. A long, hard road to walk back on, though, for sure, if you're going to have faith in them. But things aren't looking good. They're up against four ults on the side of the Saints. We're seeing the Jet ult be popped on the side of Saints. With that Sova ult just moving in, taking ground. Fair gets two, but taken out by number three. Yeah, the Trav finds two there, and another pick comes out for the side of Cumberland. Now it's a 2v2 scenario. Saints do have the weapon advantage, but right as I say that, Kyle gets taken down. Now it's a 2v1 again. Tillo has to be careful here. Does get peeked by two members. No, there are two members. Has the shot there, finds one. Looks for the second, and again, Saints get the clutch in the 1v2 scenario. Feels like at least three rounds out of Cumberland. They have the numbers advantage, but yet again, the Saints, when they need to, they come up clutch. I'm getting deja vu here. That was the exact same scenario that we saw just a few rounds ago. Yep. And I was hoping, hoping Cumberland learned from those mistakes, but just the Saints have such good footwork on their agents. It's so hard to pin them down. And hey, that's why they're 6 and 0 right now. Things are looking up. They did commit two ults there. Yeah. Didn't get a ton of value. Kind of just traded it out. These rounds are close. So if Cumberland can just get that little edge on them, it might be able to close one out. Yeah, Fair is going to go up the middle, but Smiley's going to be the one to find the first pick onto that Reyna. It's a nice pickup. The K ult will get used, but the trade isn't there. Truth falls down as well as Caillou. Now it's going to be a 4v3 for the side of Cumberland, but Tillo in a very dangerous position. Looking for a pick here, sees one, gets the shot, but Fair does fall down. Giraffe finding a couple with that operator. Tillo finding one, but gets taken down. There's going to be the first round of the game going over to Cumberland University. Yeah, there we go. Cumberland securing the round, and honestly, that was a well-earned round indeed. They got so many so close so many times, even when they had the disadvantage. Maybe they just need to figure out what the Saints had ticking there. But now, it looks like giraffe number three up there at the top of the kill feed doesn't have quite enough for a gunner, just choosing not to invest one. He's going to pick up that Vandal. Of course he is. Now the Saints, having to deal with some light shields, are going to have a tougher time now. Yeah, we saw the operator last round. I wonder what happened to that one. Got a lot of value with that one as well. Saints are looking to go for a B push. Sova ult's going to come out. Tillo, fancy feet, dodges out the second shots. And doesn't look like too much defense here. Truth finds a pick onto A, though. So now Cumberland have no idea where to go. Kai finds a second fair, finds a third. And it's Saints just picking them off one by one. Four unanswered kills now, as it's just one member remaining. Geo looking to get something done, but Truth knows once there. Flawless round for the Saints as they go up 7-1. Yeah, the Saints cleaning up their act. They didn't like losing that one around, and now they're coming back with a vengeance, playing very, very cleanly. Yeah, good round for them there, and Saints are just starting to run away with this one, even though these rounds have been quick. At the end of the day, it is still 7-1, so it's going to be a lot of rounds needed strung together here by Cumberland to get themselves back into this map. It's not impossible for them to claw their way back here, but it's going to be a long, arduous journey back to the top. Looking at the guns, though, they might be able to win it this round. It's going to be tough, though. Draft number three gets an orb, gets that alt back online. He doesn't need a gun. He's got the shields. Tillo moving in, trying to get in for his team. Gets shot down, but that's going to be Truth getting a nice long-range kill. Fair coming in, holding this high angle for his team. The dash is ready, dashes in, goes in on the Killjoy ult. Has to try and find something, but no, gets taken out by Fox. And now the Saints, threatened by the Killjoy ult, are going to have to rotate. Yeah, Saints can't get the initial push to work. Nobody detained, so 
Will they rotate over? There is a Reyna behind them, but wow. they're all dropping like flies. An easy round for Cumberland to get their second of the half. Yeah, they didn't have to commit two alts there, but they got so much value out of them. Now, I don't know what the Saints are going to do in retaliation. They do have that Silva ult. They have their Killjoy ult of their own to use now. Don't have to worry about that getting cancelled out. It looks like an I a B push. This A push isn't working out for them. It's always way too expensive. Yeah, I'd love to see just a full-on B rush. It's been just this single Killjoy defending it the entire half, so they can move quickly onto this one. The plant should be coming down relatively quickly as well, and then it's going to be not a lot of time for Cumberland to rotate over, but you can see now Saints have all the number advantages they could want. They see nobody's here. They're going to get the plant down surely just in the next few seconds here. But they're not getting the plant down just yet. And Fair is going to fall. Truth falls down as well. Saints getting way too aggressive there. Had the free plant and could have just gone out. Wow. But just like that, they all fall. And it's going to be another round going over to Cumberland. Saints are just getting gunned down there, just being ripped apart by Cumberland. It seems like St. Clair's game plan has been figured out. It took them seven rounds to get here, though. I don't know if Cumberland is going to be able to make it back. It's still a very big deficit to clear. You just have to hope that they're very confident in their attack. Yeah, a couple more rounds here, and it's going to be a timeout called by the Saints. Uh, they're going to talk about if they want to force a buy here this round, or are they just going to save up and try and make it 8-4 after this one? I think they will force up a buy here, buy some Guardians, a couple Vandals, and just try and take a round here. But uh, the worst thing that can happen for them is they lose this round, they lose the next one, and the half and 7-5 in their favor. Yeah, 7-5. Wouldn't be bad. You know, they've already secured seven points. They've secured a lead on them in this half. Yeah. But the mental boom that might occur if you do just lose so many rounds in a row, you don't even want to think about that if you're the Saints. You want to keep trying to maintain this lead or at least win the last round in the half so you can get that momentum back for the next half. Yeah, absolutely. You are spot on with that. So let's see if our Saints are going to be able to maintain that momentum but it is a couple in a row now for Cumberland they've really figured out the Saints these last few rounds what do you think the Saints need to do to get back in the win column I think they need to be a little bit more decisive with their alts they've kind of just been popping them as they come up because they're getting them so fast when they're winning but I believe it was last round or a round ago it was Tello kind of just popped Silva ult in the middle of the entire map, trying yeah. to get a very aggressive kill, clear some stuff out. But he was just way too vulnerable. I'd like to see them play it a little bit more safer. Okay, let's see how they play this one. Looking like another B push, Silva. We'll be looking if we can find a thing with a drone giraffe. Walking up here, doesn't die though. Gets the 1v1 with the pistol. Definitely a gunfight that Truth maybe should have been able to win right there. But still, they should get the plant down right here around this corner. I think would be perfect. But they're choosing to do it around default fair. Spots had their operator, but now it's going to be a 5v4 retake for Side of Cumberland. Yeah, but Mr. 3 here is moving in on this op. He gets a flash, but Farrah doesn't know that there's two behind there. I think they think backside's clear, but it's going to be Fox clearing him out from the front. And now Saints just have two left. They have the Viper Pit to play around, but that's not a lot. They need to play this very carefully with Smiley falling down. Things are not looking good. Caillou is the last man standing, having to play defensively. Here's the defuse. Needs to see it. Gets a quick clip, but it's not going to be enough. Two in the chamber, but it's going to be Mr. 12 cleaning it up. Yet another round for Cumberland Saints. They get the plant down, but then they just overextend, I feel like, instead of just uh, sitting back and waiting for Cumberland to make the move, and they kind of just fell like flies. It's a great retake again from Cumberland as they look to pick up this final round of the half and make it a very, very close half at that. Saints definitely want this 8-4 to just swing the momentum in their favor. They can empty all the coffers now, spend everything they've got, but it's still not going to be enough to match up against Cumberland because they keep going in with a little bit less than a full kit, expecting to be able to win it all. But even when they had full kits, these rounds were that, yeah. that close, so I don't know if that's going to be enough here. And it's going to be the Saints forcing their way onto B side again from the look of things. It's a four stack from Cumberland. It's been like this every single round. I'm surprised the Saints haven't picked up on that and made their way onto this site even quicker than they have the past few rounds. But 
they're gonna choose to play a slow and give a Cumberland the chance to come back into this round and see a couple, one flank coming through, a couple of flanks actually coming through for the side of Cumberland, but the rest of them are gonna be coming in for main. Flooding in from main and mid. Saints going for a really interesting rotate here. They're all kind of jumbled back here, back of sight. You're gonna have to all try and peek out at once or single file line, stall out this bomb. The defuse gets started. I think the Saints think it's a fake, but pros don't fake. Bear has one in the chamber. Wow, the Saints get three. Now we see the Jet all dashing in and out, trying to stop this defuse from happening, but it's gonna be Gerardo getting three. Gio getting another. A teammate fell from the Saints. Gives them the round. That might be what they need to turn this back in their favor. And that's exactly what I was talking about. They can just sit back after getting that initial plant down and force Cumberland to push them. Then the chaos erupts and they have that Killjoy ultimate forever and they finally decide to go with the play where they put it in the back, deny the, the defuse and it just makes it so hard to retake that site when that's the case. And now it's going 8 4 for the Saints. A great, great advantage. They're going to need to win this pistol round though to keep the winning ways going. Yeah, it's going to be interesting here because I think the Saints got a little bit too overconfident there. Definitely gave away some rounds that they shouldn't have given away. And now they really have to respect Cumberland. Cumberland has really figured out what the Saints got going for them. So this pistol round matters so, so much. And it's going to be the exact same defense from the Saints. A four man on A and just one on this beside the Kildred. will try and do everything she can to stop the initial plan. But you can see Saints instantly rotating over with the entire team. Just Jet left on that A side. So it will be Cumberland with the advantage. But now they're going to be doing everything they can to force that side. A huge flash, but it lands on two members of the Saints. So Smiley, definitely not the best flash he's ever had there. Tillo does find one, but it puts the Saints in a 2v4 scenario. 2v4, they know where Spike is. They have a little bit of information from that Silva arrow. Ferret picking out one. Not gonna be enough. Tillo finds another. It's even. They could turn this one around, oh. but no, it's gonna be Geo taking out Tillo. Now Fair has a nasty angle from above. I think Geo saw him. I think he did. Things are looking very tense. Time is ticking. He's gonna have to move fast here. Yeah, it's gonna need to find a couple headshots here. I don't think it's a very, very doable here for Fair just taking a little bit too long there. And it's gonna be a great round from Cumberland. They win the pistol mm -hmm. round and now they look to get the momentum rolling in the round in this half and try and get back, back into this game. Fair's just gonna go for a save here. Cumberland getting the pistol round on the board. That's gonna be not great for the Saints. Usually, if you win pistol, you win the next. So now, if this turns into a 7-8 or a 7-8 scoreboard, the Saints are really going to be feeling that because they were so dominant for so long. It's going to be tough for them to turn it around at that point. Now Caillou and the rest of the team all going with the Sheriff Smiley, sticking with the classic, probably investing in some U-tails and flashes. Now they're going to try and break through to this A site and try and hold it down. Yeah, the push is going to be coming through here. They have the Guardian on the Reyna. They want to go quickly. Doesn't look like that's the case. Silver Drone going to get shot out. And Geo going to throw down some utility for the team to follow up on. But it's going to be Cumberland taking their time here. Even though they do have the very, very strong weapons, they don't want to make any crucial mistakes that lose them the round immediately. And that's going to be a big mistake. Fair. That's an opening pick for the Saints. Winning pick for the Saint Smiley being taken out by Giraffe there. Now it is a 4v4. Saints looking to make this as expensive as possible. There has to be careful there. We'll be able to stay alive, and it is on uh, the Cumberland uh, players to make the move here. That should have been a pick for the Kildre, but Truth yeah. gets out with uh, their life, and it's going to be a rotate over onto B now from the side of Cumberland, but Saints seems like they might have an idea. No, doesn't seem to be the case. They will be giving up the site fully and playing the 4v4 retake. Yeah, I think they are thinking for like a double fake out there, but now Cumberland is just going to go for the standard play here, rush down this B site, lock it down with Util, and play the post plant. Honestly, I think they have a far better post plant 
as they have the better weapons, the better range, the better options at the moment. Fair though, moving in with his team. I had to switch the gun, not enough time. Gerardo and Fox getting two kills. Tillo definitely dodging the arrow. Moving in from above, needs to find a pick, needs to find a cheeky angle to turn this around for the team. He does not find it. It's a 1v4 for Truth, and he does not have enough health here. Yeah, this round it will be going over to Cumberland no matter what happens here now. As they've made it an A6 game. It's going to be the Saints being able to afford some full buys in this next round. But as you said, if Cumberland win this next one, they're back in it and they're going to be on the front foot. Yeah, this is where it all matters here. Cumberland living up to their name. They're on the rise. They're rising their points higher and higher. It's up to the Saints to try and tamp them down. But can they do it? They're going to invest in the Light Shields Vandals type of meta, but is that going to work against their guns here? I don't know. It's going it's to be a really rough round, I think. Yeah, the Saints. it will be, but they do have the long range advantage. That's all they really need. One shot to the head is how they like to play these gunfights. And let's see how it's going to start. It's going to be another B push. Coming up from Cumberland, uh, rising here, and they use the Silver Drone, they don't spot anything out, but Saints gonna have a couple defenders this time. It's not gonna be only the Killjoy, so there is a jet up mid pretty deep, and it's, just, it's gonna be the pick coming through onto Truth, and it looks like another pick will come through. Caillou missing some easy shots, they sure definitely had at least a trade, but now it's gonna be a 4v3 plant for Cumberland Rising. Yep, there is the plant, and now the Saints have their work cut out for him here. And try and get in and defuse this. Smiley has the KO knife. If he lands it correctly, it could be huge. I don't think he got any info there, just barely missed them all. The smoke goes up. Tries to pick the defuse. Take a few bullets. There's the Sova ult from Toronto. He's gonna clear out the site. Fox getting a one as well. A 2v4 for the Saints is not looking very likely don't know how they're going to turn saving. this one around. I think they're going to go for a save. As we see Fair moves back to the spawn. Another save from the Saints. They're just giving up these rounds. It's not quite working out for them. I think might e might as well just give up another round, go for the tie score, and try and secure more money. Absolutely, Saints looking... A little bit sloppy. They were up 7-1 in this game. You have to remember that. So now the fact that it's only 8-7. Cumberland have really been on a win streak here. And Saints cannot slow them down. They're giving up this B site with absolutely zero resistance. And Cumberland playing the post plan perfectly. Setting back just how you're supposed to do. And showing the Saints that if you give them a site retaking it is not going to be easy and now the saints on a save kind of basically forfeiting this round and accepting that cumberland have come all the way back yeah, and now we're gonna also see mr three there with the op once again he was so lethal with it on the defense can he make it work on the offense is the question saints trying to hold this one down caillou peeking these corners keeping them in check Looks like they're going to go for a B push. Will he see them in time? And I don't know if he has enough the range here, or enough closeness to get the one-shot headshot with the Sheriff. So we see. Looks like they're going to push towards the mid. Turret seeks them out. Doesn't know how many are there, though. Going to leave Truth. Watch that angle. And Cumberland are the one who have to get onto a site so Saints don't have to force anything, but they have to know that there's a full B push coming through because they have this player up mid and it's oh. gonna be a pick for, Ger uh, for Truth. And I think that's an operator as well. Another pick from Caillou. Can he find one more? Looks to get out with his life, but won't be able to get out still. It's a great start for the Saints as they have the 4v3 situation here. Cumberland gonna look to get the plant down. Gerardo looking for some spam through that smoke. Cannot find anything. A Saint doing a great job of defending so far in this round. Doing an amazing job so far. Truth picking up an op for himself, getting one, Dillo getting the other, leaving the third. Last one up is gonna go down and Saints securing themselves a thrifty, keeping the two point lead. That's a great way to slow down your opponent, pull off a thrifty in a round where you shouldn't really have a chance. And that was the first time the Saints were able to stuff a Cumberland's initial push. Cumberland tried to go quickly and Saints just caught a couple picks and it slowed down Cumberland 
immensely and that gave Saints a lot of momentum to win out that round. Now, four buys from both teams. Saints a couple of rounds away from really setting themselves apart, but Cumberland still not giving up without a fight. Not gonna give up at all. If you want to play, let's play. A chamber alt get popped. I was wondering why I just bought a shorty, but that's gonna be the answer right there. Gonna push towards this A site, use the verticality to their advantage, clear yeah. some very big angles with this chamber. Bear has a nice setup here, can't quite secure the kill though as Wrath number three gets the kill. Smiley getting two, Dorado getting one right back. It's even 3v3. They still have not taken out this chamber though. That ult's very hard to deal with. Matillo finding one, sees another, use the bullet, dodges it. Now he's stuck in this corner, he's pinned down. He needs a teammate to come help him out, but not enough time to rotate over. Draft number two, gonna take out Matillo. Yeah, it's gonna be a 2v2 plant. It's faked out, has not started just yet. And that Viper will be able to find a pick. Nice shot set from Caillou. Spike is down as well. Peaks the operator for some reason. And third draft will find the shot, but only 30 HP and the spikes down. It's going to be very, very hard for this chamber to get anything done, especially with the fact that Truth has an operator. But it looks like the spike yes, will be picked angle. up. Truth doesn't have an angle on this one just yet, but does sneak his way into left. the side here. And all he has to do is wait for the spike planting to begin. Great patience here from Truth. The plants come out again. Will he peek around this corner? Try to find Giraffe. Yes, wow. he will. Beautiful play there from Truth. Honestly, hit in such a great position and wins the round yet again for the Saints. Yeah, we're seeing some amazingly patient plays from Truth. Earlier on, he secured that op, and right now, he just held down in that corner, didn't engage in the sniper battle, and secured the win for his team. Much needed win as well, scoring them a three-point lead. They're so close to this one. Only three more rounds needed to win. It's going to be up to Cumberland to win three to try and tie it. As we look at the scoreboard, we're seeing Fair being given the op. He's going to go on that sniper jet route. As we look at the alt economy, it's going to be Tillo with the Sova alt. And that's all that's on the board currently. Yeah, Tillo looking to be a difference maker with that ultimate. Smiley will get that ult. Orban has the K ultimate as well, which could be around a swinger here. It's going to be the Reyna looking for an opening pick here. Gerardo will spot out a couple with his drone. Now unfair. Going to find something with the operator. This looks around the corner. Spots out the Reyna. What a beautiful shot there from Fair. Starts the round on a positive note for the Saints. Giraffe number three will have to be backing out. Out here, but Kai on the flip side of the map gets a pick and Saints have a 5v3. 5v3, Saints looking pretty good so far. Looking very good as Fair secures another kill. 2v5, Cumberland not looking likely to clear this one out. Spike down, one left, trapped up here in A. They know where he is. Funds one, looking to make it expensive, but that's gonna be Smiley. Smile on his way to victory. 7-11 is the scoreline. Saints in the lead by a large margin now. Just two more rounds stand in the way between them and victory. Yeah, it's practically last hope here for Cumberland. They do not have any money remaining if they do lose this round. And Saints have the ultimates, have the weaponry, should be looking to close this one out right here. Looks like Cumberland will go for a bit of a default, so they've given up on pushing a site, and they're just gonna wait for the Saints to maybe make a mistake and capitalize off that. To try and capitalize on it, they have the Viper Pit. They might plant over on A. I think they're gonna wait and see where they're heading. A split push, from Cumberland, not looking great as one gets taken out by Fair. Those ops are just absolutely lethal. Pillow locating one knows where he is. Is he gonna beat the angle? It's a little bit scary that chamber has such good accuracy. You don't really want to peek that. And the Viper ult will be used by the Saints on that A site. Shots come out from Truth and Smiley. They get their two kills respectively. Now 2v5 for Cumberland. This might be all she wrote for this map if they lose this round. Might be their economy. Wouldn't be doing too well after this one. Fox and I think that Geo not in a great spot here. They're stuck in their spawn. They haven't even picked up Spike from the starting position. That's going to be a tough one to get back as you have to go up here to this vertical spot, really give away your position. 
Smiley peeking the corners, trying to play this one very, very carefully. Looks like Geo can be moving in as their teammate. They don't left. have much time left, though, and no alts on the board. Geo's one point away from their alt. He might be able to secure it if they can find an orb or a kill. But the Saints just playing very patiently, moving in, encroaching on their position, closing them in. The walls are closing in on Kalish Cumberland, and it's not looking great. Truth finds one, Geo finds one. It's going to be Caillou sealing the round. It's a great round from the Saints. They're able to maintain all their ultimates except the Viper ultimate and all of their weaponry. And now they need to throw everything they have here at this last round. Cumberland can't afford to get a full buy in. They do get some Vandals, but you can see the Reyna can't even buy any armor. So it's going to be a hard round here for the side of Cumberland. Saints have all the tools they need to close out this first map. Hey, if Rana can find a kill with this ultimate, they might be able to secure some armor. True. They have the overheal. But still, that's not a position you want to have to be in. Go. Try and find a kill. No, it's going to be Gerardo getting that kill. Bear moving in with these knives. Tello just Ooh. finding so much value with that's that ult. Damage. They're all very weak here. Bear holding this corner very carefully. Moving really nicely around that orb, denying any vision. Can fair peek this one, hold that angle really, really strongly. Looks like we're gonna see a rotate from Cumberland. Yeah, multiple members from Cumberland on very, very low HP. The Sova is blinking there. Draft three here. Looks to get up all the way onto the site. And it will find Tillo. That's a great pick for them and now see the rotate coming back over but fair is here with the knives so now Kremlin gonna have to think again about pushing here also look such low hps these knives could do wonders for fair here let's see if he can get a pick with the operator picks up one but there's a res coming in from the look of things here fair will give up a lot of space here has that operator and would love to operate at long ranges here. Left. Yeah, Gerardo though at one HP from the decay, not looking great. Oh. An op would be overkill at this point. <laughs> and now we're seeing the Killjoy alt come out from Cumberland. They're throwing everything they have at the oh. wall. The truth, gonna cancel that one out. But that's not gonna work out too great as the Saints do need oh, to get the defuse. Mr. 12 getting one, moving in. Trying to peek around this corner. It's a peek. Ooh, they might be able to take this one back. There's only one left on the side of the Saints. Alt already used, takes him out. It's not That's looking around. good. It is a 1v2, has to go for the defuse and soon. Too much util to stall. And that's gonna be Cumberland taking the round. I feel like that was definitely a round the Saints could have won, but it's still a decent round for them. They forced out a lot of uh, economy from Cumberland here and you can see they're gonna be able to buy a few weapons here and there but the three members that died won't be living so luxurious so Saints will have another full buy yes they did use almost every ultimate but they have that K ultimate if Cumberland ever decide to rush a site I think that K ultimate will immediately shut them down I think you're right but it's still not looking Super winnable. They have to deal with even more long-range guns this round. Things are looking a little bit risky here. Fair though, holding this angle really well and somehow gets the snipe after the blind, gets the right angle. Draft 12 getting caught out oh. in the middle, getting two kills. That is absolutely upsetting if you're a safe bar looking for the ace now. Saints falling apart here, oh. doesn't get the ace. They're gonna get the plant and they're most likely gonna get the round unless Caillou can find something within himself and secure the round. I mean, we've seen Caillou work some miracles early into this map. We'll wow. find one, we'll almost find the second. And that was a chance there for the Saints to close out this map. But yet again, Cumberland refusing to go down without a fight. Have nine on the board now. And now the Saints aren't looking so good. They can afford a half by kind of. They get the Vandals out, but can't afford the full shields anymore. No, they can't. And now this lead has slipped through Saints. The St. Clair College's fingers not going to be able to buy full shields anymore. Still, the round is winnable with how close these rounds are. You need any advantage you can get. I don't know if they're going to be able to close this one out unless they play absolutely perfectly. And Smiley has been sitting on this alt for so long. Might want to find 
Finally see some oh. use, but that's gonna be fair. Expecting the push, getting two kills, almost getting a third there through the smoke. And Smiley picks up the third on the trade of the KJ there. Nice shot from Caillou, and it's a 4v1 scenario for Gerardo here. A bit of a disastrous round here from Cumberland. So it looks like Saint will be taking the first map 13 to 9. It was looking like a bit of a blowout, but it look, Cumberland brought it back nicely. A very, very good map from both sides there. Yeah, and if you uh, if you told me at the beginning of this game that that would be the scoreline, I would not have believed you. Saints were up 7-0, 7-1 at 7 -1, some point. Yeah. They looked unstoppable. They looked unbeatable. But Cumberland figured out something right in the middle there. Had the Saints figured out. Absolutely just got a little bit of a foothold and ran away with it. And the Saints just couldn't clamor it back until closer to that end there. Yeah, I mean, Saints did get a lot of crazy 1v2, 1v3 clutches in that little span of rounds that they were winning. So as soon as Cumberland kind of uh, started clutching up in those clutch scenarios and made that map very, very close and definitely a little bit too close for Saints comfort. So I think this map, we might see them, if they go up with such a lead, I think we might see them really push the pedal to the metal and try and have a big victory on the second map. Yeah, it should be a very interesting next map. And the next map is Sunset. Yeah. Um, correct. We've got a Sunset back <laughs> there to match. Sunset's always an interesting one. It, I feel like it's always relatively one-sided when I see it. Usually a team gets a very strong lead or just understands the map a bit better than the other. But that could have been changed. I know they made a change to the map quite recently. They moved some boxes around, opened up some areas, and added a little nook for the attackers to, to hide in over on A when they're approaching. So maybe we'll see a completely different sunset in the next game. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it over to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with game two.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Game one was a bit of a nail-biter if you're a Saints fan. Saints had a very strong lead in the start, but Cumberland really took it back there right in the middle of it, but they managed to take that game one. And now we're about to start game two over on Sunset. Any predictions as to how you think that'll go? I mean, a close first map, as you said, Saints uh, had a good start, and we're really putting on the pressure thanks to some very important clutches from uh, Caillou, especially on that Viper. So it was a good start for them, but definitely great play from Cumberland in response to get back into that map, make it 8-7 at one point, and just that one thrifty might have really flipped the switch of that map. But a great map from both sides, still Saints, I think, uh, pretty favored in the second map. Yeah, I definitely think the Saints will learn from that first game. They had a major lead. They knew what worked, and they definitely knew what worked near the end of it. They just won't give any more chances over to the Cumberland. I think they got a little bit overconfident in the midpoint there. Not to say that Cumberland didn't really wake themselves up as well, but it was the fact that I think the Saints gave a little bit of an advantage over to Cumberland, and Cumberland was like, all right, we're ready to capitalize on it. Yeah, Cumberland did a great job of capitalizing on mistakes and Saints pushed the same kind of push three rounds in a row and just nothing really worked out they decided to go slow and then uh, go aggressively on the peaks and it just didn't work they were dropping like flies so definitely a great job from Cumberland to stay mentally focused in that game and bring a couple rounds back but when we saw the Saints really lock in uh, they look unbeatable Definitely. And when that scoreboard was racking up higher and higher for the Saints, I don't think that quite communicated how close these rounds were. In the middle point there of that lead for the Saints, those rounds were just won by like a 1v1 or a little bit of a misplay by Cumberland. It was mainly just down to positioning and almost, I don't want to say luck, but just right place, right time for a lot of the Saints wins. So I think going into this next game, they don't want to leave anything up to chance. They're going to try and be as cold and calculated as they possibly can. Yeah, I mean, we would hope so they can uh, so they can really win this map and show why they are the stronger team here. That one was probably a little bit too close for comfort, but we're going to see what happens in just a second. We are loading into the second map, and it's going to be sunset. It's going to be sunset. It looks like the Saints are going to be starting defense and this is always a joy to see. With Sunset comes different team comps. And this is a very different team comp on both sides. The only similarity is picking up both the Omen and the Cypher. Aside from that, things are absolutely different. We're going to see the Breach on the side of the Saints. We have the Rays, of course, the Cypher and the Omen, as we said. And Truth on that Deadlock. As for the attacking side, going to start things off explosively with our Breach, an Omen, a Cypher. Then we have the interesting picks here, the Neon and the Gecko. Yeah, Gecko... Uh, not something you see too often, but some teams 
do play quite a good amount. Having that little buddy planting for you makes life a lot easier. So it's going to be interesting how Saints play this one against the Geckos. Cumberland have some uh, tactics up their sleeve here. And the Neon, not the duelist you see too often. The Saints up out to go for the raise with that explosive area damage. Yeah, they're going to go for that raise. Really good at clearing out these very tight corners over here on Sunset. Meanwhile, the Gecko has a really strong molly. Like that, <laughs> that goopy uh, <laughs> slime he can throw out is absolutely highly damaging if you're in the wrong spot. But a really strong start over from the Saints. They're going to burst in on the scene here very big defense here big wall big traps by this deadlock truth just locking him up here hiding in the smoke as well no one can really challenge him forcing oh. cumberland to rotate over oh and the shot's gonna come through from fair but he's gonna get turned out immediately still good start for the saints as they slow down the offensive pressure here and cumberland can't seem to get anything going Giraffe 3 will be moving all the way up mid, but won't go into the spawn of the Saints. And it looks like Cumberland are going to be pushing into this A side at the end of the day. It looks like they are going to go towards A, but they're going to rotate the long way, not go through mid, not take that risk. They're going to try and go a little bit safer over here on A. And I think the Saints getting a good read on that, rotating all their important key players over to that position. It's going to be the Omen, though, on A main. They're going to have to be the first engagement, potentially. They're going to take this alleyway, try and make a turn into this left side of A. Concussion goes oh, out, concuss. doesn't find it, gets concussed, though, by the breach. Ooh, a trade comes out once again from the Molly. Giraffe, though, on the point. Tello has to try and break through here. Nice flash, nice pick. And now the plan is going oh, out from nice Geo, but Tillo getting two. There you go. Truth, cleaning it up. It's a great round for the Saints. They went out the pistol again, and they were down a man in that entire push. Their Cypher was still on their rotator, and they were just able to hold on. Great utility use by Till there on that breach, and gets also three kills for himself. Another great start for the Saints as they win another pistol round. Absolutely amazing start for the Saints. They played that defense very, very well. Forced Cumberland to go into these very uncomfortable positions. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think Cumberland's team comp is built for the attack. They brought that Cypher in really wanting it for the defense. It's going to be a tough attacking half. So the Saints need to get all the points they can here. And this is going to be an early pick coming out for Giraffe, but Smiley finding a couple okay, trades okay. back still. Truth does fall on the other side. They want to pick up that gun there, and they will be able to do so with that Cypher Trap. It's a great start to the round, actually, for Cumberland, considering the fact they don't really have the same weapon the Saints did. Having it themselves in the 3-3 position with winning health bars is a position they love to see themselves in. Yeah, they're winning on the health, they're winning on the positioning as well, forcing them to flood into this mid point to try and get some oh. control and a big pick from Mr. 12. And that's going to swing the favors, definitely in the favor of Cumberland here. Let's see if Smiley can find the shots there, won't find it there as Saints now in the 2v3 scenario are going to get pushed. The Gerardo will shoot some right through clicks, does a bit of damage to that omen there. Spice being picked up and I think they're going to rotate this one all the way over to B. All the way over to B, that's going to be a large gap to cross though, left. they have to move quick, only 30 seconds left. Zillow. Trying to scare them off with a single Vandal shot. They're definitely going to get this plant down, and they're in a very good position to defend it. Flash goes out, though, forcing them to back off, giving them some ground. Tillo making them guess. Does not want to give up this Vandal for free. Going to have to try and play defensively and hope they push him. Looks they like do. they will. The flash comes out, but they know that he is here, and this could be a disaster. Now, for the Saints, still does get stunned up. Smiley only has 28 HP, can only get so much done as Tello falls, and this can be a thrifty round from the look of things going over to Cumberland University. Yeah, Cumberland tying this one up 1 1, not giving Saints any breathing room at all. And now they're going to have so much money going into this next round, and Saints. They're going to be on a very, very tough buy here. If they don't have any money, they're going to buy some sheriffs and try and save and hope for the best. And for the first time this series, we're going to see 
Cumberland playing on the upper hand where they have the lead on the Saints so they can kind of dictate where this map is going to go. Don't want to give Saints another thrifty round, that's for sure. That was a bit of a momentum breaker in the last map fair. Every round just kind of runs out and picks up that orb. And second round in a row, he's going to pay for it with his life. But they get the trade. It was basically the exact same thing that happened the round before. But this time, it's good for the Saints as he get another pick. And looking for a third there, Tillo. Throwing out a lot of youth to stay alive. Caillou finds a wall bang headshot on a two giraffe. 12 there. It's going to be a 3v2 scenario for the Saints here. But they still don't have the weapon. Same weapon as the Cumberland unit. They do not. It is 2v3. Saints need to play this very carefully. And if they do, they might come out with a win here. It looks like Smiley going to back off. Try and play a little bit more range, which is an interesting play, considering he's up against Vandals. I think you want to try and close that gap, but maybe you know something I don't. Fox moving in. Trying to f get a lot of ground here. They are low health. They're one Sheriff shot away from certain death. As long as they play this right, the Saints should be able to potentially take this round. They hear the plant go down. Don't know if it's a fake, they're not gonna peek. Beautiful oh, angle, but a beautiful flick by Geo. I thought we were gonna see a collateral right there. We might see one here. He missed! Oh my goodness, Tillo. That is uh that's quite unfortunate. Still, the oh, clutch Caillou does come out from Caillou, but that is a bit of an embarrassing <laughs> moment there for Tello. In the end, it does not make a difference as Caillou, with the Sheriff, finds the 1v2 and Saints take the round to go up 2 1. And I think that was a thrifty yet again. That was. That was a thrifty to get one gun back for free. And I gotta say, that's Tello, that's unfortunate, but that happens. Sometimes the nerves are high and your aim is not doing too hot. But luckily, you have a teammate like Kai there ready to clean things up. Overall though, Tillo is doing very, very well, getting beautiful plays with these flashes. And now, just gotta hope you can play well enough going into these next few rounds. You have the gun advantage, but now you need to use it. This is where you need to secure your lead. It's up to the Saints. Try and do so. Yeah, the ultimate's gonna be ready for this Neon and it's gonna be used immediately. But it's gonna be the Cypher Trap not allowing her to walk through too quickly. Tillo will fall down. They know exactly where this Neon is and the trade comes out from Caillou. A smiley gonna find a second. Cypher is coming through. Giraffe has to be careful. Finds one. And the shots are coming out for the Saints here now. It's Smiley in such a tight corner. Finds one. It's gonna be a 1v1 scenario at the end of the day here. The Razor does come out, but he cannot trade his life here. And the damage won't be be enough now we have a 1v1 one -one the scenario flank. the flank is very good here from fair but he has no idea that this omen could be to his right it's going to be sexy giraffe 12 with a 4k to win the round for cumberland wow this is a very back and forth game it can't even get more back and forth than this we've traded rounds every round here and hopefully the saints hope they keep trading rounds now they're back on the back foot here down and out in terms of cash, gonna buy one hero vandal potentially. But now they have to deal with the omen alt and the gecko alt. Thrash is just so hard to deal with. Absolutely, and the push is gonna be into B sight here from the look of things. Saints have a couple members here, but not enough to withstand probably all of the pressure here. Can Caillou find the opening pick? He does get flashed out. There's someone right in front of him, but he can't find that pick. And truth will fall down. This should be a pretty easy round now for the side of Carmel as they get the plant down. They start the plant. It is down. Something the Saints to try and turn this around. Some crazy things come through so far. It's gone down to 20 HP, Smiley. In a really rough spot here. Thinks they get cussed, <laughs> but just barely misses it. That's a 2v5 for the Saints. This is going to be nearly impossible. Tillo gets one. Gerardo, though, going to shut that right down. And all that's left is fair with a Bucky and a Dream. And it's going to be finally Cumberland taking a bit of a very good round here. They do get the round. They get all five kills, probably, if they do take down fair here. I don't know if he even wants to save that Bucky. I'm not too sure. Yeah, he will just die to the bomb here, but great round from Cumberland as they keep four of their weapons. Now Saints put in a bit of a tricky situation. They need to kind of win this next round to keep themselves in this half. 
They gave up that round to try and get a very consistent foothold here. And of course, the timeout comes at the optimal time. This is where you need to stop the momentum from Cumberland. And you need to try and think things through. You have the weapons. You have a good shot at taking this round here, evening up the scoreboard. But can you do it? And how do you do it? That's what you're asking yourselves if you're the Saints. Yeah, I mean, Cumberland are just winning a lot of gunfights. They are on the attack, and they are pretty decisive with how they play these attacking rounds. They get to their site, they get the plant down, and they see what happens. But every time Saints have been able to kind of slow that uh, kind of quick push down, they've, they've seen a lot more success. Definitely. You can tell when the Saints play patient and very reserved, it kind of makes the enemy fall into their traps. But... I think they're playing a little bit too aggressively here. They're trying to get the jump first, and that's not going to happen with how aggressively Cumberland is, is, is playing. They're going to just out-offense them every single time, especially on attack. They're going to have the rules of engagement going in, and I think the Saints need to play a little bit further back. Yeah, it's not a bad idea for the Saints to play it a little bit more patient and they won't have the full buys online they have all the vandals they could ever want but not a single heavy shield still Cumberland also gonna have a similar type of setup and they will have the ultimate advantage they're gonna keep sitting on these ultimates until they have to use them looks like giraffe three trying to get some gunshots to the wall some wall bangs some info fair getting some wall bangs of his own but they're just shooting at ghosts at this point there's no one there so we see Fox holding up the rear, making sure no flanks come through while the rest of the team pushes in onto this A site, which is woefully unguarded by the Saints. The Saints kind of posturing for a B rotation already. Yeah, it's going to be coming in here from a couple of the use. A couple of tools just have the Gecko ultimate ready. They want to get into the site quickly. Maybe the Omen looking for a pick mid here. Smiley. Can he find anything? Doesn't look like he will be able to do so at this exact moment. Neon does get onto this site unspotted, so Saints won't expect there to be someone very, very close there. Truth takes a crucial shot, will stay alive, but here's going to be the Gecko ultimate come now. The plant comes out, the Cypher is taken down, and so is the raise. The plant comes in, and this round is looking very, very rough for the Saints. Looking really rough for the Saints. A uh, 3v5, they have a good ult if they choose to use it, but now's not the time, they're at disadvantage. Oh, this flank is huge. Fox has an amazing flank here, creeping on through the smoke. Wow, Saints found one, the bullets are flying. It's a 1v3, gets detained by Thrash, and that's going to be another round secured for Cumberland, and they're just absolutely securing their lead. And yeah. the Saints use their timeout as well. Yeah, I was about to say, off the timeout, definitely not what the Saints wanted there. That's a huge mo uh, momentum swing in this map now. The Saints going to be down 4-2, to two, can't afford a buy. This is Cumberland playing very, very well and showing why they can compete with the best of the best. Definitely. And I'm starting to think maybe their records aren't speaking for how close those games were. They were one and two in the bracket. Saints were three and oh on paper. This looked like it should be a sweep for the Saints, but no, Cumberland giving them an absolute run for their money here and maybe taking this game. Giraffe finding a one from long range through the one way, beautiful setup. And now Saints already starting a rough round on an even bigger disadvantage. Yeah, Saints getting a bit impatient here and that's exactly what Cumberland needed here. They are smoothly grooving through this map as Saints make mistake after mistake here and they make a mistake early on there to be down member Caillou into two members can't do too much with that share falls down it's gonna be a pretty easy a take again here from uh, Cumberland Rising and they're gonna take a 5-2 here Smiley does find a pick but does get traded out now it's a 4v2 push for Cumberland the plant should be going down any second now and this round's gonna be nearly impossible for the Saints to bring back there it is Geo finding one, last one remaining. All he has is a sheriff in a dream here to bring law to this town, but this town is ruled by bandits. There it is. <laughs> it's going to be giraffe number three taking him out. And now it is two to five, a little bit of a roll reversal for the Saints on the last game. And they're hoping that this is similar to the last game at this point. They want to try and bring this one back here. 
Yeah, absolutely. They're going to need a lot of rounds in a row here to bring Swan back. They have the ultimate and the weaponry. Maybe there is this round to flip things around, but Cumberland will have buys for at least in the next few as they just haven't been dying too much, to be honest. Saints having a rough time of just picking up kills as uh, the, both of the giraffes are just having a great performance here on this uh, second map, both in double-digit kills, surpassing any anybody on the Saints t leaderboard. Some people say lions are kings of the savannah, but now we're realizing it's actually the giraffes. They have that height advantage. They can get they these in crazy, these crazy angles here, <laughs> which you need to win Valor. Deadlock trap goes up. That's good to sell time. Truth just trying to stall out for his team, but they can't really play time at this point. They need to play a little bit better in these gunfights these corners and making a lot of room for themselves. Making a lot of noise though, giving away their position. And yeah, that's gonna be fair, punishing that accordingly. It's a great pick there from Fair. Finds the opening kill for the Saints and that's exactly what they need to win a round here. It's gonna be quite an aggressive a wall there coming out from Cumberland, but they do not push their advantages. They're kind of stuck in mid here. Finally, Saints seems like they've been able to stuff Cumberland as uh, the push into the spawn is gonna come through. All four members moving as one, but Saints will gladly give up this position as the plant is needed here. Tillo looking for an ult and it's gonna knock ult. absolutely everybody off. Let's see if Saints can find the shots. One, two, three for Smiley. Wow. One more around the corner. Huge ult from Tillo more than certainly secures this round for the Saints of Truth finds the last kill. And that's the kind of plays you want to see come through. Very calculated, yeah. just corralling them into that one corner for a beautiful alt usage by Tillo. I mean, what more can you say? That was just like a textbook plan executed to perfection. Very, very nice round from the Saints there. And that's going to be a big play. That's a momentum a booster there. One play, knock up all four members, pick up some free kills. And a round like that could be the difference between winning and losing a map. As Cumberland have a full buy, looking to get themselves back into the winning column. They're going to get themselves back, and they might as well, but they need to win this one to put Cumberland at a disadvantage. They still have everything they need to cook up an amazing meal on this A side, or B side rather. Angles are looking good. Caillou repositioning to back side, leading up some traps, trying to give up some room so he can lure them in. Oh, trap. Wow. Just barely gets out with his life there, does not hit his shots, takes a few shots of his own. Yeah, I thought that was a headshot, so Kai definitely getting away with one there. But still, being alive is all you really need here, and Kai will get shot through the smoke. Absolutely unfortunate, as it's going to be a great start for Cumberland in uh, this round. Hopefully Fair can find a couple picks. Smiley going very aggressive up mid here. Fair does pick up one pick, but look at the flank. It does get traded out on the other side, so it's going to be a 3v3 here as the post plan is going to be on play, but Fair somehow falls down before the rest of the team can come in to help him out. Tillo is going to look to find a flash. Has all the utility available, but it's going to be very hard to find the post plan win here for the Saints. It's going to be really tough here indeed. They're down the man advantage. They're down a lot here, but they might be able to play this out. If they play it perfectly. Going to go on the aggression. Truth holding very tight angle here, threatening it. Throwing down a trap, trapping them, getting the kill. It's a 2v2 situation, 1v2 situation. Truth almost clearing it out, almost getting the trade. Gets the half defuse, Thrash comes out. He's running out of time though, goes to the classic. No bullets left. Beautiful clutch from Geo. A nice try there from the Saints, and so close to winning that one out, but Cumberland using that ultimate at the end there to secure the round for themselves. Beautiful play from them as they take a quite a big lead, 6-3, still Saints will be able to afford a buy here. Uh, they have those Vandals in hand, and that's all they really need to win a round, but definitely Cumberland playing much, much better here in the second game. Like much better indeed. Sunset seems to be in a map that they excel on. Saints not doing too hot on this defense. Still a closable gap though. Three to six is not unwinnable. And especially when you take out the Neon like that, things are looking pretty good. 
Yeah, it's gonna be an upside. The raise out comes in. It is a trade, but two of the top fraggers for Cumberland are down. So in theory, the Saints should be able to take this one as get spotted out the buddy. But Caillou just can't find any kill. Truth finds one, but the trade comes out. Now it's a two v two. But Saints know exactly where both members of Cumberland are. They have all the utility they could ever want to stop this plan from going down. But at the end of the day, Cumberland have kind of brought this round back. Yeah. Saints have amazing plays, but when it comes to gunfights, it looks like Cumberland just has everything set up. They have the right angles, the right approach. Oh, no. yeah, look at that. Geo just going crazy. I mean, those are not shots you should be missing if you are on the side of the Saints. Quite an easy shot on the member that's not even like really moving in front they of had you. Had the high ground, too. Had the high ground and just does not land the shots. I mean, Cumberland have shown why they are uh, who they are, winning 7-3 now, and Saints can't really afford a full buy. Looks like Cumberland are blowing this map wide open. Blowing it wide open, and now the question on everybody's mind is, will they get a bigger lead than the Saints going into this half, than the Saints did on the last map going into this half? That's the question. Can they get it to a 9-3? We're looking to take this round with by a wide margin, they have a major gun advantage, and when the guns are even, the Saints have been struggling to win it, so it's looking like this might go the same way. Yeah, Fair will look for something, but does not find anything, gets stunned up, has to be careful, does live, but doesn't find any kills as Neon will look for something. Stun comes through. Can the Sheriff Shot come through? No. Nice pick there, but Truth does find the trade. Knows that there's one more here. Can he find the shots? Yes, he does. That's two shots for Truth. Does its job there. Now it's a 3 3 scenario. Saints look to play the post plant yet again. Yeah, Truth evens it up for his team. Smiley teleporting through the gate, trying to get a different angle on their opponents. Fair. Setting up a boom bot to clear out the site. Smiley needs to not die there as Dorado takes him out. No more threat of the flank. He's gonna lead Tilla to get knocked out. Fair gets one though. It's not a fair fight for him as it's a 1v2 situation. Bomb is ticking time, is of the essence. And at this point, he might as well save, but I think he might try and make this expensive. Yeah, it's gonna look for the shots there, won't find anything. I think Saints taking way too much time on these retakes. You can see every time, they just don't have time to play for the defuse, and Cumberland have realized that. Now they go up 8-3, as Saints are just crumbling right in front of our eyes. Such a strong first map, but just can't seem to get anything going against Cumberland on the second. Yeah, nothing is really sticking here. Every plan they try is thwarted by Cumberland. Nothing is working against them. And Cumberland, I think as long as they have any sort of advantage here, they know how to use it. The fact that the Saints, it might have been decided on that second pistol round where the Saints lost. Yeah. Went back and forth a few too many times. And now Cumberland just locking in here for the rest of the match. Looking to make this 9-3. Looking to make Saints have a long, hard road ahead of them on the attack. And they're gonna have the ultimates to do so as well. Both sides having multiple ultimates that could prove to be crucial in this round. But it's gonna be an A fake from the look of things here. They have a couple members in deep, but the spike is making its way over to B. Yeah, just holding it back. I think they're trying to get the site before they fully commit the bomb. So I think the Saints really would love to lock down that bomb so they're playing very carefully around it. Smiley just barely scraping by. There. 26 HP, Fair moving into the smoke, playing very aggressive. They hear the plant come through, they're gonna try and be aggressive, try and get one off what? the jump. And Caillou Fair gets two! Fair gets three from the blast pack. Maybe this is what they need to turn it around here. They locate one, trying to take him out in the back. It's gonna be Fox. They're gonna throw everything they have at this guy. They have nothing to lose. They're throwing caution to the wind. And Truth, gonna get the last kill in the half. Saints securing the 8-4 half. Hopefully, that is the momentum swing they need to take this game back. I mean, that's a huge play from Fair. It just flies in there with both of the satchels, lands, lands in the middle of the point, and just takes everyone out. So, 
So he definitely should have died on the entry there. A bit of a mistake from Cumberland, but a great job from Saints to retake in the chaos. And as you said, that could be the little momentum switch flip that they need to start the second half off strong. And maybe we were wrong. Maybe Saints don't need to play more cautious. Maybe the Saints just need to send it full throttle, full offense at their opponent. Just give it 150% and see what happens. <laughs> They've all bought classics and some shields. One of them bought a ghost, and all ghosts on the side of Cumberland. They're looking to take these fights in one quick bullet. It's gonna be a B push, but the answer is quick from Cumberland. So Saints have to be careful to not just completely sprint into there. It's gonna be a one for one trade to start off. Huge flash from Tello, but it's still gonna be a two for one to start off this round as Giraffe three finds three kills and it's gonna be the Saints dropping with flies. It looks like Cumberland will be taking the advantage here in this first round and they're gonna be looking to push this series to a third map. It's looking like the case is up to Kaya to try and find a miracle, but it doesn't quite happen. 4K from Giraffe number three is gonna set them up. 9-4, a very big lead. The Saints, while they would love to give up another round for the money, they kinda need to turn it around here. You don't wanna be 10-4 going into the rest of this map. Yeah, I must agree with you on that one. This, that was not the round to lose on the pistol round, and now they've put themselves in quite a hole. Cumberland, though, doing a great job of finding all these little advantages and just completely slaughtering the Saints on this map. Let's see how they decide to play this one. You can see the shots come out from Giraffe 3 yet again, finding too early, and just like that, she must think the round's over already. <laughs> Someone's got to stop this giraffe. They are just going absolutely crazy, rambunctious even, as Fox takes a one out as well. The Saints are down and out, <laughs> being taken out one by one. Geo getting one. Truth trying his darndest to stay in this game. But with all this use, all this pressure, it's only a matter of time before that crazy giraffe finds their third. Yeah, I mean, Saints can't even find a kill there. This can be one of their last full buys of the map if they can't <laughs> string some rounds together here. They need to. No no full buys for the side of Cumberland as well. So if there's ever a chance for the Saints to come back, I think this round is the start of that one. And I think we're going to be having another technical pause as... Something's not working. <laughs> Something is not working. It's probably a piece of technology somewhere over on the Cumberland side. But amazingly, I did not expect this outcome. You know, that, that, that first map was close, but it was... I just... It did not look like the Saints were going to have too much trouble yeah. on paper. They're 3-0. and They're riding high. They're having a really good time in the overall bracket. Cumberland, not so much, but it looks like they're back with a vengeance. They're looking to prove themselves right here. 10-4. Saints almost have an insurmountable amount of rounds to come back. I've seen it happen before where you tie it up, but I've rarely ever seen it go all the way to the end. Yeah, Saints gonna need a bit more than a miracle to bring this one back, but anything is possible. Giraffe, only gonna have a classic here on this Neon. The ultimate will be popped and rushing right in there. Gets the whole team stunned, gets one pick, does get traded out immediately. So it's a start for the Saints to get a pick, but they haven't made up too much room on this offense just yet. I don't have much room to go here. Geo though has a really good angle. Doesn't oh, get the flick. kill though, fair with the flick. Now things are wide at standstill once again. Beautiful one way, but it's not gonna be enough. Tillo's ready for it. Sees some feet and takes a shot. Now goes moving in on the other side, trying to get one truth secures the kill. One left on the side of Cumberland. Maybe this is the beginning of a comeback for the Saints if they can secure this round. 
They should be able to secure this one with a relative ease. We're probably going to see Gerardo try to go for the clutch here because Cumberland will have many funds available. There's one shot. Gets the second. So this is going to cost Saints a little bit more than it perhaps should have. Truth is on one HP as well. So wouldn't want to have one more member fall down as I think Gerardo is not going to try and get the defuse here. He will go for that pre-fire onto Truth but does not get it. Saints win the fifth round of the map do drop a couple members maybe that they should not have but this could be the start of the comeback let's be an optimist here they're halfway there a glass half full only five more rounds to go before it's a tied game and then at that point it's anyone's, it's anybody's game, game. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely so you just gotta say one more round guys just a few more rounds we're there one more round and then we're four rounds away and exactly. after that one round at three. a time one round at a time they have a slight lead here. Or a slight chance to oh get a my. lead in. A beautiful shot by Fair. Yeah, that's a great start to the round. Can they find the raise as well? The shots come out from Fair. Doesn't find the get-go. Still gets around the corner. And Gerardo falls. It looks like the Saints are coming back to live. Gonna make sure that the kill is secured there. I think we have that one there. The trade comes out from Giraffe. Takes down Smiley. But the plan should go down as the Saints look to secure this round. Yeah, the plants are going to go down here. Fair planting it down. Giraffe number 12, he marking there. it out. He knows he's there. He sees his little brim of his hat, looking to blow it right off. Trap taken out. Truth gonna peek with his team. That's gonna be Fox getting two. Oh my it's a 1v1 somehow. Tillo has to try and clutch this up for his team. Things are not looking good. Tillo in a corner here, gets the peek. Oh, he wants no. to make up for what happened last time. He's gonna send out a flash, needs to stall for time. 30 HP, one more bullet, stands between him and one more round for the team, and oh, he gets it! my goodness, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Saints had the 4v2, and then it turned out to be a one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> and then Tillo missed probably some shots that he wants back, but finds the clutch, so it does not matter in the end. And Saints are one round away from being one round away. Feels like they've won a couple in a row now. And it looks like Cumberland are kind of uh, doubting themselves. Do they want to force up a buy? Do they want to save? It looks like they will force up some cheaper weapons, but they'll have money for the next round just in case it all goes wrong. I gotta say, I was getting flashbacks there with that Tillo play. I was so nervous for them. But now they're back in it. Tillo has found the resolve to steady that aim. And I think he's feeling much better. It's a good omen for the Saints. They're going to move in on this B site. There's only two there, but there is all the Cypher traps to deal with. Cypher has a Spectre, can't get any one taps, but he can surely spray them all down. Yeah, Saints look to get into this B site. Haven't had too much success this half going towards this site, so it may be an interesting play, but the Cypher is just single handedly sitting here. Defending this one, Caillou, though, finds an opening pick. It's a great start. For the Saints, you see Gerardo doesn't have a weapon exactly. either. And there's going to be the Cypher Ultimate that should give Saints a lot of information to work with here. They're going to get another scan there so they know exactly where everyone is. It looks like Fair will gladly walk in here. That's a beautiful nade. The shots come through though, but Fair's nade does find one back. Saints might look to start the plant down here. Stello finds one more plant. Should be going down any one second now. Remaining. The Saints have the 4v1 scenario. They have the 4v1, but well, we've seen some crazy things happen. Fox might be able to turn this around for his team, or at least make it expensive. Gets the jump, gets one, upgrades that gun to a Vandal, and pops the ult. Things are not looking good for the Saints. It's a 1v2 situation. They don't have the info, but Fox sure, certainly does. Spike is down. He can maybe move for a defuse here if he plays things correctly. Has two util left in the pocket. Going to pop out a cage. Make them force the push. Has a one slit angle here. Gets shot up though, only 85 HP remaining. Doesn't want to waste any of these bullets here on a reload. There's oh, the use that ult. ult just to secure the round. I mean, why not? You need any foothold you can get here if you're the Saints. Yeah, I'm surprised I used that ultimate. I think it would have been a pretty easy 2v1 no matter what. But as you said, securing the round is the most important thing. And when you need rounds this badly, I think it's quite a good play as now Saints put themselves one round away from being one round away. Timeout taken by Cumberland as Saints are really getting the momentum back in this map. Like we said, they're taking it one round at a time and playing it very, very well. Cannot save these alts anymore. You know, at this point, 
if you lose a round based on saving all, not good. it's not good. If it's 11 points away, that feels very nerve-wracking. You have nothing you can give up. Right now, they have another round or two they could possibly, possibly give up. But you don't want to use that on purpose. You want to have that be a last resort. You want to give it your all and make sure there's nothing left in the tank. Yeah, absolutely. And Saints really putting all of their plays here. They're trying to get back into this map. And they have seven now. They have all the money they could ever want. They need to keep this ball rolling. Cumberland calling this timeout to try and cool them down a little bit and slow down all that momentum. Definitely, and they have a very good chance at it. They have some good alts. They have the deadlock alt, and I believe they also had the raise alt there. Fair. So those are two very strong alts. They can get maybe a pick or two if they play things perfectly, at least apply a lot of pressure on the side of the alt economy. On Cumberland, they have that thrash alt. That is absolutely devastating. That is a detain minion he can just pick up again and use. So if they choose to oh, use it, and that's, that's not, a bad ultimate. That's not good. Unfortunately, good idea, but wrong timing. They were ready for it. Caillou getting one, trying to trade it out, though. It's still a 4v4. It is a 4v4, but they do lose that race ultimate Over for there. basically nothing. And just, they, they're playing aggressive, maybe a little bit too aggressive to start off that round by a fair, but it is what it is. Saints still looking to win this map. Caillou is on one HP, and Giraffe knows that. And that's a huge stun from Gerardo. Gets one as the Saints drop like flies. It's off to Smiley, who's detained. It's going to be a very, very easy round there for Cumberland off the back of the timeout. And because Gerardo got that kill, that's also going to give him one of the strongest ults in the entire game. That breach ult can just win you around in and of itself. We saw the Saints win around off of it earlier. And without that raise ult, they don't really have much in the way of securing kills. And I think they used the deadlock ult as well. It's only on one charge, but got no value out of that. So now the Saints, after that break, pretty much threw away any sense of a lead they have, unfortunately. They still might be able to turn this one around, gave up one round, but there's still so many more rounds to go. Yeah, their hopes after that round are very, very slim. They don't have any weapons to work with now as Cumberland look like they're going to take a map of the Saints in this series on Sunset. A great, great map from them so far. Still a couple rounds away from closing it out. And Saints <clears throat> going to look to push up this A side, playing it a bit more slowly here. But Cumberland aren't really here to defend it just yet. If Saints want well, to just walk in there, you should have the plan. But Fair gets first blood again. And not having your your damage there, your duelist, makes this push so much harder. Makes it so much harder. So much harder to break through that defensive line. Now Fox trying to clear out some nasty angles here. He's gunning it down. And he's got enough time and enough teammates to do so. Giraffe. Trying to push in very aggressively here. Blinded still chooses to slide in here. Takes the ground and why not as he gets the kill out of it. And that's going to be it. The Saints now are in a do or die scenario. Five rounds to get this to overtime. Meanwhile, Cumberland just needs a one more. Yeah. Cumberland put themselves on map point and should be able to take this map home. Saints can't even afford a full by here. They're going to choose to use their second time out of the game. I think it might be a little bit too late for that one, but better late than ever. If they can turn it around and push it to overtime, they put themselves at a chance to win this map. But from the way it's looked, I think Cumberland have this one secured. I mean, you have it, might as well use it. But at this point, it might be too little, too late. I get you want to break up that momentum and try and find something against Cumberland, but... At this point, you need so many rounds. It's going to be a very impressive game if they manage to do so, but it's not looking very likely. Not looking very likely at all. As five rounds in a row, I mean, they were able to do a last map, but this map, it's just been all Cumberland Saints. Haven't found those clutches that they relied on in the first map, and the even like 5v5 pushes, I think Cumberland have just been the stronger team on these first few maps. I have to agree with you there. Cumberland are looking very strong, and if they keep getting stronger like they have been, this map three ain't looking too great for the Saints either. 
Now, we'll look at your wrath. Gonna go with the sheriff. Save some money, because he's gonna pop that ult. They have so many ults to use. They also have that breach ult if they need to screw the round as well. Saints looking in a very, to be in a very dire scenario. Rushes <laughs> in, dies. Hey, We've seen that a couple times. Maybe we're gonna see things turn around. Take one alt out off the board. They want to maybe try and even bait out this breach alt so they can get it hit off the board oh. as well. Geo though, just being an absolute machine. Finds that shot onto Caillou, which makes it a four on four around. But Saints have full control of this A side. I'd love to see them just get this plant down as soon as possible and force the hand of Cumberland here on the defense. Start making Cumberland play your game, but March to be the hard drum. You don't want to keep playing catch up here. Gerardo cussing it out. In with this team, a lot of util happening, a lot of bullets flying. You can tell the Saints are a little bit nervous. They're trying to make the best of the bad ult. situation. There's the breach ult, and I don't think it got all too much value here. Didn't secure kill, it got them sight though. Ooh, lots of trades back and forth. It is a 1v2 Tillo in the clutch situation. Odd stacked against him. Does not go his way as Geo gets the defuse and wins Cumberland game two. That's going to be Cumberland taking the second map and pushing this series to a decisive map number three. They have all the momentum here. So now Saints going to need to dial it back a little bit. Focus up, lock in, and win this last map to take the series home. And I think any Saints fan, knowing what was on paper here, did not expect this outcome. This is looking to be a very close game, and it's not looking good for the Saints going into this game. Three Cumberlands just getting better and better. But on this final map, we're going to have to hope the Saints have some tricks up their sleeves. Yeah, I mean, they're going to need to play a lot better than they did in these first, both of these maps, because I think Cumberland have only improved their play from the first map. Saints kind of taking it down a level while Cumberland stepped it up. So we're going to see Saints definitely step it up a notch and uh, play their best on this third map to take it home. Exactly. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very quick break. Grab some snacks, go to the bathroom, get yourselves ready for one more amazing game. You don't want to miss it. Game three coming very soon after a short break.
everybody's favorite a classic one we haven't seen in competitive play for a little while but now we're back in the swing of things yeah, it's going to be bind, and it's going to be quite an aggressive team comp from the Saints. They're going to have a two duelist with the Yoru and the Rays. They're going to have the Deadlock, the Sky, and the Astra. And on the other side, Yoru picked up as well. So a pick on this map from both sides. Breach, Astra, Neon, and Gecko. So they love that Neon-Gecko combo, and they're going to be going for it again are the uh, the opponents yeah if you're able to use neon neon is an absolute asset to have i mean they buffed the neon's mobility by an insane degree in a relatively recent update there i would say almost a must pick the new jet some would say you know a little less verticality but even more horizontal speed going into bind though saints did go with the aggressive double duelist pick but they're not going to be... Oh, wait. They're both double duelists, so it's fine. I was going to say they're not going to be able to capitalize on it just yet on this defending half. And they need to get a good foothold here because as soon as Cumberland gets any sort of advantage, they're not going to let Saints have any light of the day. Yeah, the team that's attacked first has won the first two maps, so Saints going to look to change up what has happened so far in the series and hopefully get off to a strong start they were able to win the pistol in the first two maps but then after the first round it kind of went downhill especially after that after the first round the second map they lost the second round they lost the fourth round and from then on they just could not get themselves into that game yeah it did not work out and it looks like Things might look the same, you know, if you believe in momentum, if you believe in progression. Cumberland's just getting stronger every single time, unless Saints have totally figured something out, had some enlightenment here. It's looking to be a rough game for them. Yeah, and we're struggling to load in here into this third map. We have a little <laughs> bit of time. Uh, let's get some uh, score predictions from you, Matthias, on what do you think this third map I'll, will give us? I'll even guess the halves, <laughs> the to, halves. to the exact point. All okay. right. First half is going to go in the Saints' lead. It is going to be... Okay. It's going to be... Seven, five. <laughs> seven, five. For the Saints. Okay. And then in the second half, I think Cumberland's going to end up taking it. I think they're oh. going to sweep, and it's going to end up being 13-7. 13-7. <laughs> they're going to go absolutely crazy. They're going to sweep. That is insane. We'll see if I'm correct. It's all up to the Saints to prove me wrong. I mean, uh, even the technical part of the world cannot believe your <laughs> guess there, as we have a technical pause. Something broke after hearing Matthias', Matthias statement. <laughs> Thank you that Cumberland will take this one, but after how they played uh, last map, I don't think that's a crazy, crazy shout at all. Uh, Saints definitely just looked weaker on the second map, so uh, I think personally they will be able to take this third map and they're going to show why they are 3 and 0 but after after that second map it could be anyone's game yeah it just could be anyone's game and now going on to bind bind is such a weird map i'll say that the two teleporters on the map mixes things up quite a bit everyone's used to it by now but it's still got some weird stuff especially approaching from hookah you really want to push through it because it gets you there quicker. It's a good opening on the site. If you play it right, it can be a very good position, but you play it wrong, and you're just going to be stuck in there like chickens in a chicken coop, just waiting to be plucked one by one. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to be a strong start needed from uh, whoever wants to win this map more needs to start off strong early. I think where, whichever team wins the pistol round will will be very, very happy with how the start of this map will turn out for them. Because I think after the first few now, uh, after the pistol taken, I think we're going to see much more calculated uh, plays from both sides. But especially the Saints, they did play maybe a bit over aggressive a few times when uh, they knew they had a map in their hand and they just want to make some good plays. But now I think we're going to see good fundamentals from them when they have uh, the right economy. Exactly. When things aren't going your way, just walk it back to basics. Rely on what you know, especially on these older maps. Things are already looking very explosive, though. Huge push over on the site. Fair teleporting away over to B, playing the retake. Maybe even going to approach through the teleporter. That would be an absolutely aggressive play indeed. 
now giraffe number three moving in here does not get the kill kyo getting the kill on the deadlock truth moving in on the oh, race nice kyo kyo. getting another is absolutely beautiful and kyo getting three looking for four gonna get taken out but did his job there kyo found three this should secure the round for the saints they just need to wait for the rest of the members to come over here yes fair falls so does truth but the trades come out here from the saints and off the back of amazing play from Caillou, Saints will take the first round and now would love to see them to run away with this one. This is such an odd game to watch. Every time you think someone has a lead, like Caillou got, I don't know, it was, it was three kills, right? Yeah. And then the, all the teams coalesce upon each other and then there's like eight trades or, or like four trades that happen simultaneously and now it's like a 2v2 or a 1v2 and it's all decided within a few seconds of these massive fights it's an absolutely riveting game to watch but also a little bit hard for the saints to deal with i think it's going very strong it gets one oh. gets taken out Good trade from Giraffe 3 there. Onto Truthillo. Gets tagged up. Uses some utility. But Foxo on the other side will use the Astro utility to make some space for Dumbledore. And they're going to look to get the plant down. The plant is down. They have no weapons, but they have heart. They get some extra gold no matter what here. Tillo finds the opening pick as Saints look to retake. Yeah, Tillo getting a nice double. Getting them all out here, only one left. And that's gonna be it, the outlaw taking out Geo. And now, with it being defused, Saints are gonna secure themselves a much needed, at least on the mental side, 2-0 yeah. start. Absolutely, I said if they can win the first round and keep the snowball going, that's gonna be their key to victory. They found a couple in a row here, having a couple members alive as well. They have a Vendel, an Outlaw, and a Spectre, so they have a chance to go for the bonus here. If they get the bonus and blow this game open, that would be the best start possible for the Saints. Yeah, doing a little gambit here. Not gonna buy super expensive weapons, keep their profile low, the overhead low, to try and get a secure lead over on Cumberland, but Cumberland just playing it basics you know like yeah, we were standard, saying yeah. buying those vandals investing everything in on this third round you need to turn around for yourself here and here they are pushing in on this b site wow gecko finds the flash the flash goes out from the yoru caillou sneaky setup right here looking to launch the cage but there's only one to catch yeah and now it's going to be Geo who has that ultimate on this Gecko. And it's going to be a crucial ultimate at that. Frozo walk, Fox is sorry, walks up mid here on this Astra. But there are a couple Saints members right around the corner here to the left. Let's see if it gets spotted out. Tillo has to be careful in this position. Now has information that there is somebody here. Fair does fall HP. first and Caillou falls as well. A kill for Tillo. The ultimate though does not hit. Picks up the Vandal and Tillo could really turn this round around for the Saints, but they put themselves in a 3 4 disadvantage. If the Saints can turn this one around, grab those guns, this game will be blown wide open, like you were saying. Gerardo going for a concussion. You can tell that Cumberland is definitely moving fast here. They want to secure this round as quickly as possible. They don't want to give the Saints any time to think here. Looks like Truth setting up here with the Outlaw not able to secure the kill. Geo taking it out. Yeah, Outlaw not the best weapon in that scenario. Tillo finds his second kill of the round and could the Saints pull off a miracle and win this one? It's going to be very, very hard as the Cumberland members are in a very, very good position and the plant is down in such a good spot. Because of that body, Tillo does fall down. It's going to be just smiley. does go down as well. Cumberland do stop the bonus from coming through, but now the Saints will have a chance to take their third round of the half. Yeah, now they can buy up with all their saved money, but it's not going to give them any advantage here. They're going to be able to try and stay competitive with Cumberland. They're still not looking great in terms of money. It looks like Tillo was just barely short of getting heavy shields as well, banking on maybe getting a kill or two in the last round. But things didn't quite work out perfectly there. Caillou opting for the judge. Going to try and go for some sneaky plays here. I'm sure in these showers. It's an 
Interesting play, the TP comes through and they do somehow kill a fair. Not a good start yet again. Saints getting first picked. Feels like way too often true. He's not gonna find the trade. He gets one, but I think that's gonna be all he's able to do here. But does get out with his life. That's an amazing play there. Geo's on one hit point. So close to finding that kill, but won't be able to do so just yet. Still, there's no healers on the side of Cumberland, so it's gonna be hard for them to push into the site. Yeah, and there's the Ural giving all the information they need. They're trying to body block him here into the U-Haul, try and catch him. Well, he's vulnerable. He gets out into a decent spot here, and now that's a lot of threat from their back spawn. They need to take him out, and quick, he finds one, oh. finds two, looking to find three, the upgrade of the gun. They need a Vandal, and there, that's Smiley able to take him out. It is a 2v2 somehow. I mean, the fact that that Yoru finds even one is crazy, but two is more than he could have ever asked for the plant from Gerardo, who is on 10 HP, will be coming through. As Saints look to play the retake here of Kai. You can find that opening pick. Oh, thankfully, he's only one HP. One body shot does it, and now it's, it's a 2v1 snare for the Saints that they have to win if they want to win this map. They have to win. It is 2v1. Things are looking... Relatively dire, especially with the one you don't want up. Still up here, able to pull you off of that spike. It's going to be a lot of time off the board, unable to secure this one. Caillou prepping the deadlock alt, not oh. able to land it, just barely. Now time is ticking. Nice shot. Secures the shot, secures the round for the Saints. That's 3-1. That's a good lead. Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea with the Deadlock Ultimate. Basically guarantees you that defuse if you can land it, but just did not <laughs> land close. it. It was close, but still. Yet again, in the clutch, Saints make the right play. They go up 3-1, and it's going to be a save round from Cumberland. The Saints look to run away with this lead here. Looking to run away with it and try and get a big, as big of a lead as possible. You're on the defense rounds. You need to play these very well. Now we're looking over on the money side of Cumberland. They're gonna have to save here, so in all on paper, the Saints should take this one as well. Yeah, they should put themselves up 4-1 in theory, but nothing is ever certain. We've seen a couple of thrifties already come out, but I don't think this is gonna be the one as the stun hits onto the friendly from the Neon as they try to pick up some ultimate orbs maybe. But with no real weapons, Saints aren't really too worried about the Cumberland members here. They are not worried at all. Fair. Holding Buga like a champ here. Dodge the flash. Oh, that's not get good. The kill, though. Fox now. Gonna be upgrading to a Vandal. That's gonna be a big threat. Big rotate coming from the Saints, but it's not gonna be very good for them as they're all still sitting over on B. Yep, and there's going to be the Neon Ultimate popped immediately. Draft looking to find something, can find anything, but the flashes are beautiful. They should be able to find a couple kills here, but Caillou is in such a good position. Finds one, finally finds a second. Can they find the rest of the trades? Yes, they do. It is going to be a couple picks for the Yori here. Almost finds the insane clutch there, but Saints find the kills. It does cost them a lot, but they do go up four, round, four rounds to one in this decisive game three. Yeah, very good start for the Saints. They want to keep up this pressure, keep up this offense. As I know, if Cumberland gets any sort of pressure at all, they're going to just run away with it. And now, this is another round. This is the decisive round they need to win. You don't want those rounds before to get that close. Listening. As it looks like Cumberland looking very comfortable on money, while the Saints still not looking too great. No, they aren't fair, and Smiley cannot afford okay. anything too premium here. Actually, there's going to be a Vandal on fair. It's going to be only Smiley. He has the Bulldog, so Saints bring themselves in a good position to win this next round. It looks like Cumberland looked to go relatively quickly onto this B side again. It didn't work last round, so I'm surprised that maybe they go for the same play, but they're going to get that ult. The Your ultimate is on a line now. That could be the ultimate that finds them all the space they need. Exactly, maybe that is what they need to break through your ult. Very quick ult to get back up online. Gives a lot of information with how much utility got out of it last time. It's a most likely a very deadly tool in Cumberland's arsenal. But Smiley taking him out, it's not even part of the equation anymore. 
It's a great start to the round for the Saints. And they get the second pick. I thought Tilla was going to pick that one up, but just can't find it. Giraffe three now on one. A shot away from being taken now, but it's going to be Kerbalin back into this round. Let's see what the luck find. The stun comes through. Caillou finds one. Looks to find the second. Cannot pick that one up. And Fair is going to drop down. The raise ultimate is going to come out. But the plant isn't coming out anywhere. Nice shot, though, onto the Astro. But the Astro ult did make it down. The plant is going to come through. And the Saints have no idea this happening. 2v2 scenario. It's going to be a hard retake against that Astro ult. A tough retake indeed. Astra Alt just dividing this one up, cutting it straight in half. And now it's gonna fall down. No longer part of the equation. Smiley gonna move in with his teammate trying to provide some support. Oh, yeah. Get flashed out. There's Thrash out as well. Gonna get the oh. along with his teammate though. The defuse is coming. Defuse comes through, and that's gonna be a beautiful play from the Saints now. Trying to make it expensive. Oh. Rose tries to take one more out. But that was beautiful play. He walked into the Gecko ultimate, so both him and the opposing player get detained, and then the defuse has been coming out for that entire time. A beautiful clutch round there from the Saints. They did not have the upper hand there at all into the Gecko ultimate and the breach utility, but they do take the round, and they go up 5-1, as I think Cumberland are forced to save yet again. Yeah, that was a beautiful play. The body block just coming out of nowhere. Well, not out of nowhere, just planned. They were ready for it. They saw that the ult might be on board, playing with the team, playing for the defuse. That's what they need to keep doing, and the timeout from Cumberland is absolutely apt. You don't want to keep letting the Saints run away with it. Yeah, I mean, Saints... They had this kind of lead in the first map, so we can't get too excited and say that they're just running away with this yep. one, even though they are. Cumberland definitely can get back into this game and put some rounds back on the score scorecard, but Saints doing a good job so far. In the clutch scenarios, they have been more clutch and composed, which gives them the 5-1 lead. Yeah, it's looking really tough for Cumberland right now, but we all know that can always change on a dime. You can tell the Saints very nervous going into these fights. Not nervous, but very cautious. They're very respectful of Cumberland, not giving them any space, any advantage whatsoever. Now, with two alts on the board, the Saints might be able to turn this one around, but that Yoru alt is still an option for Cumberland. Yeah. And Cumberland this time gonna play it very, very, very slowly. A default push coming up from them. Not something we've seen too much from them, but maybe losing a little bit of confidence here as Giraffe 3. Gonna be in Hookah here. Can he find any shots here through the Astro Smoke? There's nobody to shoot at. But if Sexy Giraffe ever decides to jump over that door or that window, that would be the end of that Neon's life. Tillo. I love this position with the judge. Can never let anyone walk in. Here the your ultimate will clear out all of A, but the rest of the team isn't following up. And there's gonna be the opening pick onto that neon. It's all in push here coming out from Cumberland onto this uh, A side of Saints look to find the retake. For the retake, looks like the Astra taking up this heaven site, trying to take the high ground, laying up a lot of smokes, a lot of setup. <laughs> Yoru to send out a decoy, will they fall for it? The Seekers come out, they shoot the flash, a trade comes through, Breach Alt comes through as well. Things are looking absolutely insane right now. Kayu secures a one with the deadlock alt, and now there's just two left, but Fox gets one, it's a 2v3, 1v3, 2v3, but no, that's gonna be it. Kayu getting three from the round. And now the Saints are grooving. They all got hit by a lot of abilities there, but they didn't rush out. They waited until the effects or the defects wore off, and then they just pushed in there, used their numbers advantage perfectly, and take the 6-1 lead, I think. Now we're seeing them bringing back their gameplay a little bit more than we did on any other map. They just need to continue this pressure and not let their foot off the gas pedal here. Can't yeah. give up any pressure just yet. Cumberland looking very, very good so far. But still, these rounds are just barely, barely being a one-out by the Saints. They're always so close. The Saints always have to use an ult or something. Try to get out. Oh. Wow, Gecko ult gets out and... Or that was a Gecko flash gets in. But still, 
no one dies from that engagement, which is absolutely insane. And there's gonna be an opening pick for Truth. Finds a second look at that flick. Fair does find a couple of his own, and it's gonna be Truth and Fair with a two-man ace. Only one member of the Saints drop. As you can see, Cumberland are kind of crumbling in front of our eyes. The Saints just continue just to put on the pressure. Up 7-1. We've seen this before. I think this time the Saints might close this one out a little bit more cleanly. I think you might be right, but pride cometh before the fall. We can't you get did too say comfortable here. Thirteen seven for comfortable. You're right. So. You're right. My <laughs> prediction is still possible. And looking at the scoreboard, this might be the round to do it. They have the expensive guns in their hands. So let's see if I had the right prediction or if Saints will continue their dominance. I hate to break it to you, but you might be on the wrong end of the prediction this time. But it's a good start as Giraffe 3 finds the opening pick. But Tillo gets two back and is now Smiley. I cannot find the shots. But Saints on the flank looking to find something. But it's going to be a 1v1. No, it's oh. going to be the round going over his truth. Finds the last two. Saints go up 8-1. A bit more of a sloppy round. But in the end, they do manage to get the victory. And that is all that matters in the end. Now up. 8-1, they're pretty smooth cruising at this point. They're smooth cruising now. I would say 8-4 is kind of what you aim for if you want to win a half. You have a good solid lead, but now every point gained by the Saints is pretty much a bonus here, just securing yeah. them ever closer to that winning standpoint. But there's still some more ground to cover. There's still so many more rounds to be had in this half. Let's see. How this one shakes up. The Saints look to be super good so far. Giraffe moving in very aggressively with that Guardian, popping the ult as well. Not really at a range to use it though. Gonna have to play the patient game and try and rush in at the right moment. Yeah, Saints stopped that one beautifully and a bit of in uh, impatience coming out from Cumberland as they just that Neon just pops the ultimate 1v2 or doesn't even know how many members are on the side and can't find anything. It's gonna be a great start to this defense for the Saints as now it's one minute and taking for Cumberland to make a move. Truth will choose to pick up that wow. free kill onto the Neon knows that the Neon is stuck and uses the ultimate. I like using that one there to give your team a one a man advantage. And now they know that the push is coming up to be. Saints look to defend this one with all they have. Yep. Gecko Flash goes out, doesn't find anything at all. Now we're gonna move in. Flash gets one in the corner. Let's barely gets him though. Truth surrounded on all sides, gonna get taken out. Now, Graf gonna find one as well. Geo gearing up with the rest of his team, has Thrash ready. Gonna pop Thrash out with the Astro Wall, try and find some people lurking backside. You know, he's gonna retreat it back to him, get another charge. It wasn't optimal to use there. And Saints, after getting a good start to this round, <clears throat> can't find anything. The Yorl comes out, and it's going to be only fair here. It looks like Cumberland, even after losing uh, their duelist, will be able to take uh, this round as fair. Has that operator? We'll choose to save that one. Second round coming in here for Cumberland. Another round for Cumberland, eight to two. I'm trying to turn this into an 8-4. Eight 8-4 four. Eight four is definitely recoverable. Any more than that, 10-2 is looking very, very dire. Yeah, I must agree with you. Saints are going to do everything they can to win out on these last few rounds. Fair might be giving up the Operator here, waiting for someone to push through this teleporter. But that won't happen. Now at 8-2, Saints cannot afford a full buy, so this should be... Another round going over to Cumberland in three, but Saints are going to force everything they have into this. Three Vandals, a Judge, and an Operator. A, a, a round win here, and it more than likely secures the map for them. Exactly. You can definitely tell the Saints are getting very, very anxious to secure this map win, it's especially with how good. sweepy both of the all the games today have been. They want to make sure the sweep keeps going in their way. A push. Let's be long. This oh! One could not secure the kill. Actually, Geo gets the kill on the hopper, I believe. Oh, and they're all falling down. Oh, no. Things aren't looking good for the Saints. Giraffe number three moving in on the site. Gets a gun as well. Tello. And I believe that's truth. They're going to be the last ones up here. It is a clutch scenario for the two of them. 
Yeah, Tillo finds one easy pick, but I don't think he knows one is behind him. Does fall down. Now it's a 1v4 scenario for Caillou, and should be impossible for him to find anything here. Doesn't have too much utility to work with, as well as Cumberland has woken up yet again. They seem to go down big on the start of the map, but then they just turn it up a notch, and Saints these last few rounds just have not found answer. Caillou's gonna save to try and win the last round of the half. Yeah, Caillou gonna go with a save once again. I mean, he could try and make it a little bit more expensive, but at this point, it is not worth it. 8-3 is going to be no the score line so far. The question on everyone's mind, will it be 8-4 or 9-3? Wow, gets one more kill though. Catches one over on Hookah. Caillou trying to ring every dollar he can Last out of Cumberland. In the half. Saints definitely want to finish off this half with a win, but they have no uh, money. They only have money for a couple Vandals, a couple Stingers, and a Sheriff. For truth, it's going to be a very hard round, realistically, for them to win. Win or lose, this next pistol round is going to be absolutely Crucial. imperative for the Saints. Yeah. They need to win that to keep their lead up. If they lose that, Cumberland gets in the lead. It's going to be looking really dire. They all get concussed, but they just maintain their positions. Sending a lot of util on the Sioru out through there. It's behind them. Uh, it somehow it works out. It works out. And now Caillou running in there. Giraffe gets one on Smiley. Oh, there he is. He's running Zioru. on through. No one can really stop him now. He's just trying to get as much info as possible as there is three left on both sides. That's honestly not a bad start for the Saints. They pick up a couple weapons and give themselves a chance in this map. See if Tillo can play this one correctly. Shoots the clone, but is able to stay alive. Turns around though and is gonna instantly fall down. It looked like a win will around for the Saints, but now it should be very hard to do so. They don't have that Astro Ultimate as well. They didn't use that one this round, so it's gonna be hard for them to win. It's 2v3 scenario considering they're kind of late on this rotate. A little late on the rotate, but nonetheless, they're pushing on through. It's still very winnable around if that didn't happen, but now it's a 1v3. Not looking good. They did very well in this half, nonetheless. Truth now, just going for the Hail Mary at this point. Yeah, no point of saving anything last round of the half. Let's see if Truth can find a couple kills here. But Giraffe will That's take that one down. 8-4 half to start. It's a good start for the Saints. But definitely Cumberland still in a striking range. So Saints need to, need to play their absolute best to take the series home today. Yeah, pistol round. Saints have had a little bit of trouble with as of... As of always, I was gonna say as of late, but, but not this series. Yeah, so far they've been doing good. They really need to win this one now more than ever, though. The pressure is on. If they can win this one and the next, 10 to 4 is seeming like a major lead. 6 to 8, it's not looking not good. So <laughs> but now, looking at the gun buys, they're shuffling around quite a bit. What do you think's gonna happen? What's your guess? I think Saints are gonna push this A site, they're gonna push it quickly. And I think that's the way to play this attack. They have the Astra to get those smokes down. They won't be playing it quickly, but it looks like they will be trying to make their way onto this A side. The dog spots absolutely nothing, which should just give Saints a green light to move on through here. That's exactly what they're going to do. On through as a unit. Cruise on through. Try and take as much ground as possible. Wow, they take A with little to no effort. Nice shot. They're finding a pick as well is going to set them up in a really good spot. Didn't realize how good Yoru is by getting past these deadlock cages. Getting into really... Oh! Spots, but that's going to be wow. Giraffe. Number three, getting two kills. Three kills. Four. It's down to one in a round that looked like it was going so well. Falls apart so fast for the Saints. I mean, Saints just simply got outgunned there. They got the plant down. And it's not like really Cumberland was pushing them back far. They just killed them straight up. I feel like Saints should be sitting back a little bit more on these plants. But Cumberland allowing that plant with uh, knowing that they need to play the retake and beautifully play it there. Four kills for Giraffe number three there. As the Giraffes here are trying to carry Cumberland to a comeback. 
And they are, you know, these giraffes. They're so tall, so strong, so valiant. They can see everything. They see every angle. And I don't know what you got to do to stop them. What beats a giraffe? A lion, maybe? Uh, does a lion oh, beat a giraffe? No, no. <laughs> it's like a, a rhinoceros or something. Exactly. You got to be body. as strong as a rhino here if you're the Saints to push on through to the end. You have the lead. You just got to carry it in on through. And now Saints playing very carefully over on this A. And it looks like Cumberland senses that and goes for a rotate. Yeah, Saints should just look to get the plant down this round to get as much economy as possible. But they're choosing to play a default on a save round. Not something that's going to be seen too often. They use uh, the dog there trying to find something. Caillou Got finds it. a pick, actually. As it's a one-for-one -one trade to start off the round. And Saints maybe give themselves a chance here. If they can pick up that weapon. Oh, that was not a good teleport by Fair. Into right to two members. Fall down a beautiful flash, though. Can the Saints follow up? Smiley finds one. Still a 3v3. And Truth picks one up on the other side. No way we see a thrifty here from the Saints. That will completely crush Cumberland here. Giraffe on the flank with the Outlaw. Just needs one shot, no armor here on any of the Saints members. But they are going to be able to stay alive for a little bit longer here as now Cumberland looks to play the retake. We're going to play the retake. Giraffe number 12 here has it on lock with the oh, outlaw. Fox here. going for a oh. crazy U-Haul push. Doesn't quite commit to it though. They're banging walls trying to find any info they can. Scare people out of their corners. Gets a big setup trying to get the delay here. Close quarters battle, huge outlaw shot. The defuse has been started, goes off of it. No time, no time. No time indeed, thrifty. and a thrifty. Oh my goodness. For the Saints is going to set things right once again for themselves. And look at that, look at all the money raining down. I mean, at the right time, Saints pull out another thrifty to put themselves in nine rounds and now put themselves in the driver's seat to take this map home and take the series. And the uh, you know, piss around didn't work out for them, but those short trades that gave them those kills last round let them get the plant down. And this time, they played very, very patiently, didn't take the aggressive challenges until they absolutely needed to. And I think that's what ultimately gave them that round there. I think you are absolutely correct. Every single way there, Smiley gonna lead the charge with the dog, get some info, clear out that C long Big all pick. the way. Draft, thir draft 12, gonna move over to A. Pillow gets the pick needed for the Saints, and now they're going to look to make all hell loose on this B side. But I feel like a rotate to A might be the better play. Yes, I don't think uh, Cumberland can rotate in time. Truth finds a couple people and takes the aggressive challenge, will go down. Saints not making too much progress here. Caillou, though, does find one more. Tillo looking to find the trade up onto this B hookup position well, won't be able to find it just yet as fox might be in a bit of trouble here caillou should be able to find this kill wow beautiful kill by caillou such patience and game sense there gerardo moving in on through gets a few dinks with the classic seems <laughs> classic. to burn a little bit as he's now down to half hp he has to be taken out there that's gonna be fair taking him out all that's left is the yoru they're gonna get the plant down and this should be the round for them yeah, another round going over to the Saints. Uh, didn't get the plant. No, they did get the plant down for the they extra did. money. Yeah, good play from them all around. Now they're gonna have a Yoru ultimate to really open up any position. This round is crucial. Saints can take it. Another save is forced by Cumberland, and then it's match point galore for the Saints. But if Cumberland can win this one, they put themselves in a position to maybe, just maybe, bring back this map. It's a lot of maybes on the board here, but it's looking like the only sure thing is Saints have an absolutely amazing lead. And when the Saints have a lead, both these teams just thrive so much on having confidence. Oh, here. again. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much confidence with that teleport. That's the second time we've seen that from Fair, just teleporting into a very, very bad position and dying immediately. So it's going to be Cumberland yet again with that 5v4 advantage.
5v4 advantage. Can they make good use of it, though? Oh, yes, they can, as shot. Yoru gets a kill from Hookah. Gerardo sees that ring. He knows there's at least two of them there. Dog goes out, oh, and wow, Spike smoke. gets taken out. Giraffe 12 with three kills. Every time Cumberland went around, it's off the back of one of the giraffes, just going absolutely ballistic. That time, the Yoru does fall. And so does the Astra, so maybe Saints with a bit of life, but no idea that Gerardo's in that corner. Stun comes through, and I think this can be a very hard round for Truth to pull off a 1v3 clutch in. If I know Truth, he's not going to go down without a fight. He finds one. We're going to find another. Oh, 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 he might oh. time it right. Go a little too high, but he almost makes it out. But that's going to be Geo with the double peak. Good try there from Truth. Almost had it, but... Cumberland to do win the round that they really needed to. Still Saints gonna have another full buy here. But now Cumberland really put themselves in a position to bring this game back. Yeah, it's possible. If they keep playing things right, things should go their way. But Saints have had so much money on board, they could lose a round and yeah. be fine. And now going into this round, Last they have two alts. Wins. Will they make use of it against Cumberland's alts? feel like we're going to see a very explosive match ahead. And that's a very easy pick. I'm not too sure what Caillou was doing there on the deadlock. Doesn't have his gun out and just yet again Saints allowing the first blood, but I don't know how Astra got into that position. Fair <laughs> gets the trade back and now Saints put themselves back on board. Are they going to choose to play the, for the teleporter here as all the rotates come through? Let's see if that's uh, the play they choose to do here. Yes, they will go into A, and let's see how quickly they decide to go the Earl. It's gonna come out fair. It's gonna let his team know that there's absolutely nobody anywhere in this site to come in here quickly, but it could be a rotate back to the B side. I think that's exactly what the Saints are doing. Yeah, it's a good fake out there. Got a lot of info. If they move I've quickly, they can take a site very, very quickly. But the Sky Alt is going to locate oh, no. the remainders. A little bit of a blast pack here. Getting in on the site, Truth taking a lot of ground. They're all jumbled together. Oh my, imagine a raise ultimate here. <laughs> Two points away, a little too far right now, but that's gonna be a thrash alt. Don't know if that tamed anybody. No. Did not, just barely. Raph trying to find oh, something, but picks. good picks all around for the Saints. Yeah, the plans should be going down as Fair finds his third kill of the round. We're going to find the fourth. Missed a couple shots there. Tillo falls as well. But in the 3v1, I don't think there's any way Cumberland can take this round home. Saints can be putting themselves very, very close to match point at the end of this round. Geo is going to need a miracle here if he wants to turn things around for himself. Trying to get some pre-fires, trying to get some lucky shots. But luck isn't going to win him around here as there's three Saints lined up <laughs> on his angle ready to strike yeah it's basically impossible he's going to be saving this vandal i think that's a good play from a geo here and it's going to be saints taking the 11-6 lead two rounds away from getting this hard fought victory but if we know something we know that cumberland will not be going down without a fight cumberland will not go down without a fight as you can tell they're fighting to the bitter end here 11 to 6. St. Clair looking very, very good. Just two more rounds to go. Cumberland only two more rounds to lose. That's going to be a timeout. And Cumberland used every single ultimate they had in that last round. They really threw all their eggs in one basket and just did not work out for them. Will make the rest of this map so much harder. What do you think they need to do to maybe make this game a little bit closer than 11-6? I, I don't want to say I have no idea, but it's it's gonna be it's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. I agree. Maybe you try and bait out a few of the Saints alts, maybe. Yeah, I think that might be a uh, valid strategy. But Saints has just been so so good. Sometimes there's only so much you can do. Cumberland playing a great third map so far, but Saints just a little bit too far, uh, too 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 far ahead. One step ahead, two steps ahead, and just. It's been working out for them brilliantly so far. It has been working out pretty well so far. And honestly, 
It's going to be really tough for Cumberland, but we've seen them do some amazing things before. Maybe we'll see them do some amazing things again. It's all up to the mental. Maybe this break is what they need to swing things into their favor. Yeah, they won't have the full buy available. They have a couple of Vandals, three Vandals to be exact, a Guardian and just a Sheriff on their Astra. So let's see how Saints play this attack, knowing that the economy of Cumberland is a bit weakened. Yeah, it's weakened, but that's not gonna weaken their attack as the deadlock alt, almost reactive, gets the Yoru potentially, unless they can gun him down in time, and they don't. It's a trade right there. That's a 4v4, an alt for a life. Will that win them the round though? Wow, it made oh. just barely fair, getting a nice clean kill, going back to his team over on B site. Absolutely amazing rotate on that Yoru. And there should be another round going to the Saints. They have a 3v2, they have the weapons, they have the spike coming down. This is all do or die here for Cumberland. You do not want to be on match point against the Saints. But I don't think there's much they can do in this round to win it. Tillo has a beautiful flank position here. Geo does throw out the flash alongside the Astra as they take some position here. But only a Sheriff on this Astra isn't too big of a threat at this exact point. Fakes the defuse. Saints are going to check it out. There's a flash coming out from the Yoru. And Smiley does fall down. So now it's a 2v2. The Astra, though, has the ultimate ready. It's a beautiful ultimate. Finds one. And now it's going to be all up to this one member to find the clutch. Geo does find the shot. But Fair finds the trade. And Saints put themselves on match point. Match point. It's do or die for Cumberland the Rising. Will they rise they to the no equation? Money. They have no money. You're right. They, <laughs> they are no broke. Money. They are living on a dime and a dream here. But maybe they'll make that dream work. But the Saints, I don't think it's likely. They have two very strong alts Damn. on the board. Yeah. They still have that Astro ult. They still have that Showstopper. It's not going to be looking good for Cumberland. Yeah, let's see if this Neon can make some magic work for the last time in the series. Shoots the ult, the raise ultimates coming out from Truth. Doesn't awesome. find the kill with it just yet, but it is in a very aggressive position. There goes the first pick for the Saints. Jardo is down, the Astral comes down, the plant's coming through. Caillou does get concussed up. One HP left on the Sexy Giraffe. Three has nice wall bangs there from Caillou. Finds a second. It's going to be a 5v2 for the Saints here. The flank coming out from the Euro does go down. That's going to be wow. a flawless wow. round for the Saints. They take the third map 13 to 6, and they take the series 2 to 1. Beautiful game from the Saints. They played flawlessly throughout the entire match. Cumberland had some good rounds in there as well, making it close every single round. But the Saints really found something within themselves to lock in and take the victory. And I do have to say, I was one point off you were. from the opposite of my prediction. <laughs> it was 13-6, not 13-7, but I had the vibe right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you had the right vibes and Saints matched that one. 13-6 even one up to you. So they moved to 4-0 and zero on the season, Cumberland. Even though they are 1-3, in three, I think they have a lot to prove. Uh, definitely a very strong performance taking a map off of one of the strongest teams in off collegiate. Yeah, that's just a lesson we can all learn here today. Sometimes the overall series score or the league score does not really match up to the yeah. skill level of the team. Sometimes you just have off rounds, off games, and sometimes it's very, very close every single round. We got a lot of good talent here in the collegiate, and Giza's on that team. Of course, they're going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of our Saints, a former Saints at least but Saints are still on top <laughs> yeah I mean it's gonna be a great uh, victory for them today uh, probably some points of uh, learning mm -hmm. some rounds that they probably shouldn't have lost that they lost and Definitely. letting that lead sleep away in game one I think we're gonna see much less of that the longer the season goes so uh, I think happy Players are going to be happy with the performance, but definitely a few things they can tweak. Exactly. Learning is the lesson we took here today. You could see them learn throughout the duration of this series, both teams. But speaking of learning, we're all in collegiate. We're all in some classes, so we're going to wrap <laughs> this up for tonight. Thank you, Theo, for joining me here on the desk. Thank you, Ari, in the back for observing. Thank you, Gabe, for directing. And thank you for Dan for making this whole production go. Thank you to our sponsors, Alienware, Tim Horton, Subway, St. Clair S. 
SRC and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Thank you, viewers, for joining us all here today. And make sure to join us tomorrow for a... I believe 8 p.m. ECAC Madden game. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. And it's going to be Patrick and Zarin casting that one. So you don't want to miss it. Make sure to subscribe to our socials, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a good night.